We back. New set, new location. TPJ Studios 2.0. We are here. We got a TV now. It ain't nothing gonna be on it. But we got a TV up here now. The TV. But, but look at the logo. It looks beautiful on the screen, doesn't watched it? Watched the whole 2016 playoffs on that TV. Exactly, we did. We watched the whole 2016 playoffs on that television. On this 32 on inch television, bro. Right here. Yes, exactly. Sitting right Screaming here. Screaming on that old, on that old we desk, saw, on that old like black wood desk. We literally we saw the Thunder lose a three one lead. I saw, on that I saw TV. Steph Curry hit that three pointer <laughs> on the, on this television. You right saw him right lose a three one lead on yes, this television. Bro, on that television, so. It's wild, man. Time time is crazy. Time flies. But anyways, welcome. This is Hoops and Brews. We are here. We are back. We are finally back. Yeah. We took a two-week hiatus, but... Some of y'all you know, ever doing a podcast? Exactly. I, I had to go to Chicago. I had exactly. to handle some stuff, so I was in Chicago for like yeah. 10 days. And then at the same time, the NBA season started. We cover the Clippers, so we've been also covering basketball games. Um, yeah. And also, we still been hitting y'all up every night. Um, you know, With the, Skype the, the two-for-one NBA show hosted by me every yeah. night. Go ahead, make sure you check out the latest episode of the Two for One Show. Um, it's hosted by me every single night. We talk NBA, um, you know, nightly recap of basketball that happened that night. So we are here, we are live. This is episode number 166. We have, um, before the last podcast we did, we actually didn't have any NBA basketball. Now we have a full 10 days of NBA yeah, basketball. We've had a full right. six Lakers yeah. game. We had a full six or seven, uh, you know, LA Clippers games. The Warriors have fallen apart. Uh, what are your thoughts on the first, you know, kind of week on the return, not only of the show, but also of NBA basketball? I mean, it's been exciting. It's, I, I think the most exciting part about this season is nobody knows anything. Like yeah. even the experts, you don't really know. Like yeah. nobody is nobody is an expert because this is to me. Only I'm God saying, is an expert, earner. Nah, but even this is like I remember I said this uh, all summer. I think it's a new era in the NBA. So it's like I think every five to ten years you enter in like a new era, and I think you just enter in, in, into the twenty twenties now. So like this is gonna decide. I think this year decides the next three to four years. Okay. Three okay. to four to five years. I think I'm not upset at that notion, and and it's just like it's so that to me is exciting, and it's just it's fun, you know. It's like a lot, it's like a lot of new energy. I think that every team thinks that they have a shot. Every team is wrong, but I feel no, but no, but 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 at least for fans, like you, because I, obviously, like the Warriors aren't the yeah. 73 win Warriors anymore. So it's not like in the West, you like oh the Warriors, we already know they going to the finals, yeah. and we already know what team from the East, like yeah. Bron, Cavs, we we you know we know they going to the finals, yeah. and we just simulate until we get there. Yeah, it's like fan bases have hope. You have at least, I mean, the Bucks, Bucks fans probably think they going, the Bucks think they going, the yeah. Sixers think they going. I mean, shit, with the way the Heat been playing, the Heat damn near might think they going. Yeah. The Clippers fans think they going, Lakers think they going. Uh, uh, give me some other teams. I don't know. They're the only ones that really matter. The 76ers, Celtics, I guess. The Nets fans definitely don't. Nets think don't going. think they going. I mean, Nets, Nets fans can't even get it together. The jazz, right now. jazz, the jazz fans are not they, going to the finals. The Jazz, think the they jazz don't. are not going to the finals. Stop the it! Think, but look, Jazz fans, if you think the Jazz going to the finals, I got a bridge to sell you in Utah. Regardless, though, it, it, it's just I think it's exciting. Denver, even I don't think that, but Denver, I just think it's exciting because yeah, a lot Denver's of fans. Not getting that. Denver yeah, but look nowhere near but but still, it, at least you have a lot of fan base that can be excited about the product that's putting on the court because yeah. you really don't know this year. Like I have no idea, bro. Yeah. I actually do not know. I'm just watching it from a fan perspective and enjoying the basketball and analyzing the basketball as we go. Yeah, and, I don't and, know, yeah, bro. And enjoying the death of a dynasty. What? It's not the death. For real, bro. It's not the but like the it's Warriors, right, bro. It's not the, the death. Warriors are like the Lannisters, bro. Went out sad. It's not the death, G. Like went out sad in the month. But again, I told you this over the summer. Tanking would not be the first of all. They're not tanking. They have no choice but to lose games. It's not like they're deciding to lose. They actually have no choice. They're bad. Of course they're bad. But it's not Steph the worst Curry, thing Clay in Thompson's the world. Not out there. No, if Steph was out there, they would still be bad. If Clay was out there, they would be better. They wouldn't be running through the league no more. So what? They would still be a top team in the NBA. Okay. That's twenty, Fair. and actually now that KD is going, actually I think when Clay comes back, Clay going, I think Clay realized like, yo, I gotta, we gonna have to get buckets. 
Like, because these young guys ain't going to be there. So I'm going to have to get buckets. I think when Clay come back, he might actually finally average above 25 points per game in a regular season. I don't and think so. I think so. And also, I do. And I do. And I think d is going to be gone. First time, the first opportunity to get the trade d he's going to be gone. But but think about d is I don't think he's playing well enough to increase his trade value. It doesn't matter. The first opportunity they get to trade D'Angelo I Russell, agree with you. They are I just going don't to know evaluate. What... I mean, they're not going to make a trade without actually evaluating what the trade is. So if they get an offer for D'Angelo Russell, they're going to take that package. That's all I'm saying. That's I agree. Saying. No, I thoroughly agree with you. I'm just saying that the way he's played, I don't think he's played up his value. And the fact that he's on the max. Like, would you say D'Lo has been a max player throughout the first however many games of the season? No, but it's also a new year, new scene. I mean, new team, new system. Harrison Barnes hasn't necessarily played like he's a guy that's deserving of his contract. But Heald hasn't really played as if he's deserving of his contract. A lot of guys haven't really played like they were deserving of it. I mean, shit, Draymond, I mean, Draymond Green ain't played like he's deserving of his contract. Draymond Green has been terrible this year. He has been getting annihilated. That man averaging like seven, four, and and, and seven I mean, or something. What do you want him to do without? Like, you told me the man could average fifteen on his own team. He could. I didn't say you went back. This is his own team. It's not his own team. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's, not. His it's his team. It's, it's not his team, team right now. No. Yes, he's still it not is. number one offensive option. What you mean? Come on, man. He's the leader he's of the team. Still not number one offensive option. He's not the leader of the team. Yes, but he's not the number one. Okay, so but look, wait, 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 wait. Draymond has been always been the quote unquote vocal leader. You've always told me that Draymond was the number two. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the number three option on offense over Clay. Not scoring, but like with the ball in his hand. Okay, sure. then. So I don't want to hear that. Make some plays, Jason Kidd. D Lo is D Lo is backpack still Jason Kidd. No, Draymond is backpack Jason Kidd. All right, I feel you, but and backpack Jason it. Kidd. You know, backpack Jason Kidd can't do what? Can't score. All right, because yeah. regular Jason Kidd was having troubles. In, in his own right, until he got a little bit older. Again, Draymond Green look, is Draymond, not going to get better. Draymond, no, he's not. Draymond has also been banged up. I don't think he's healthy. Obviously, he said he went healthy. Yeah. The index finger, I, the first game of the year, he hurt his forearm. Then he, then he, then he hurts his back. He been banged up. I think all of them been banged up. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to sit down, you know, chalk this year up. And again, I even did a podcast after the finals. I was like, for Bob Myers, you shouldn't even be looking at next year. Next year don't matter to you. You should be looking at 2020, 2020 2021. It's not over. It's just, you know, a, 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 a little part, a little, a bridge period. You're rebuilding. It's I told you you're rebuilding. Period. You said, no, you weren't. I told you I mean, you're rebuilding. If it's a two-year rebuild, it's not a rebuild. It's a rebuild. It's not a rebuild. The Bulls rebuild for, they, the Bulls rebuild for a year and a half. Literally. That's not a rebuild. That's a rebuild. Michael, Michael, Michael. Bro, you had, listen. No, 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 no. Because, because you know, mama, if you watching this or if you one of my mama's friends and you came here to watch this, it's because of you. I didn't just drop this F-bomb that I was about to drop. But you are out of your damn no, mind. You are out of your damn no, mind. Not. You are out of your mind. It's I not a rebuild. Michael, goddamn Jeffrey Jordan, went to go play baseball. That's not the only reason that they didn't win, though. He went to go play baseball. And he came back and they lost. And when he came back, guess what? They lost. The team was a different team. A rebuild. It's not a yeah, rebuild. Yeah, bro, it's bro. not a rebuild. You lose Michael Jordan, of course you got to go Dude, get some different players. If you have two people left over from a team, literally, if you look at the when last Clay Thompson three come back, when, when Steph Curry and Clay Thompson two, come back, you gonna you have three people left over. What do you mean? That's a rebuild. That's everybody the core. Else is, everybody else is That's different. That's the core. You got the core. Iggy was in the you core. You have the Sean core. was in the core. You have you the core. Other guy, no, you no, have no. the core. But that's bro. a rebuild. If you talking about the Clippers last year versus this year, yes, it's a rebuild. No, that's why I learned Paul George. Listen to me. The Warriors. It's that's not the same thing. No, G. Stop. G. You have to go out and get a new Iggy. You have to go out and get a new Bogey. You have to go out and get a new Barbosa. It's a rebuild. Those guys all played key points. To this dynasty. Like, when they was blowing teams out by 30, again, somebody had to keep the lead. The reason why Steph could sit down in four quarters was, you take him out, you up 10, then the bench put the lead to 20, and he ain't got to come back in no more. I don't want to hear that. So you got to go back and get the rest you of the team. The Bulls, listen, games. the Bulls. And no, he would listen, usually push the lead to 20, listen, and then it would go to 30 and look, when the bench came in. But look, in. last time they had 30-point lead uh, with the Clippers, they lost it. So you can lose the lead. Somebody got to keep the lead. So as I was saying, it's a rebuild with, with the Bulls. The first 3P team, when they went to second 3P, with nobody left over besides Pippen and Jordan. But they wasn't the sole reason as to why they was if winning. If Michael Jordan doesn't go to play uh, uh, baseball, are, we talk, are you telling me that they had to rebuild? Yes. You're lying. Bill Cartwright You're got lying. old. No, no, look, listen. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. You're not going to tell me with a healthy Here's Michael why. Jordan and a healthy Scotty Pippen why. that the yes. Bulls are rebuilding yes. if Michael Jordan yes. doesn't go to play AAA baseball. I'm going to tell you that. Here's why. You're Take lying. You that. You're, You're lying. lying. Look, look, here's why. Bill Cartwright, who was a center, he gets old, he retires. Horace Grant, who knows what happens with the contract? You know, the Bulls been cheap. Horace Grant wanted, wanted um, more money. Who knows what happened with the contract? If he leaves, the reason why, the, even the reason why I think they lost to the Magic that year was because Horace Grant was on the Magic and not the Bulls. They had no power forward. Come on, man. They had no power forward. Come on, man. 
They had no. Come Craig on. Hodges wasn't there. You didn't have a shooting. On, you 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 brought back in Ku coach. You bring in Ku coach. Yes, they they would have had to rebuild that team. No, they wouldn't. Yes. No, they wouldn't. You would have had Mike no, and you would have had Scotty. Then you would have had to go out and get the other no, guys surrounding those guys. No. No, I'm sorry. Yes. I can't agree with They would have had to go out and get those other guys surrounding those guys. Yeah, but and you're not, not that, rebuilding. You're rebuilding. You're not rebuilding. You're re you're not no, you're not rebuilding. You're, you're replacing rebuilding. role guys. You still have Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen it's still on the rebuild. Floor. It's not a rebuild. It's a rebuild. You're lying. It's the, not like, no bro, rebuild. Those two if people, Michael Jordan don't go to play baseball, we're not you're not sitting up here telling me that the Chicago Bulls had a rebuild. Yes, you're yes, sitting up here talking to me about how they potentially won eight championships. They in not when they wasn't with eight rings in a row. No, not with eight rings in a row. You're not going to eight straight finals and win the eight straight rings in a row. That's not we would have. No, no. You would have. That's Guess That's what? You ain't even a Bulls That's fan. That's you ain't even a Bulls fan. And then Scotty back probably would have died by '96. So what? Let us back down. We still man. out there. No, you so not. what? No, you not. And his back would have died by '96 because actually Michael Jordan would have been out there. He had to go out there for a year, which he was a superstar, and go out there and be a superstar for that year, which I'm sure was much more taxing on his body being a superstar when Michael Jordan was playing baseball than it would be if Michael Jordan was out there dropping 30 every night. Well, I actually think that in 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 some games, Scotty put, exerted more effort than what Mike did, especially considering offensively. The, the the offense was especially later on. The offense was designed for Michael Jordan to score, and it was designed for him to score in the post. So it's not like he's exerting that 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 much effort. As in Scotty bringing the ball up court, running the offense, facilitating, and also has to go out there and play all world defense. Michael Jordan don't got to go out there and play all world defense. Yeah, but not like Scotty. Come on, man. Like Michael, Michael Jordan's a better perimeter defender than me than Scottie Pippen. No, yes, Ma- he is. no. yes he is. No. Yes he is. No. But yes also, he is. Michael no. Jordan still had to drop thirty and then still go out there and be the best defensive player on the floor. No, he didn't. The only reason why he, well, no, he I mean, well, once no, Scotty came, he exactly. didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. You wanna know why he no, didn't? He did it. Because Scotty was a better defender. No, I know. No, it's not. It's Scottie, no, it's he, because when Scotty gets there and you got a guy who who averaged thirty five, you're not gonna tell him to go out there and guard the other team. Like that's like, could you imagine James Harden going out there right now and like playing all world defense? He did last you would be, year. No, I mean, I said all-world okay. defense. Okay. James Harden never played all-world defense. All-world defense. Okay. All-world. He should this year. Both of them should. Which is which If is, James Harden played all-world defense, he would be the greatest player of all time. Which is, but he don't. Which is, That's why he not. Which is, That's why Michael out. Jeffrey Jordan is who Michael Jeffrey Jordan is. That we was not rebuilding. When the man went out there to go play baseball. It was a rebuild. When he went out there to go play baseball, of course you have to change the team because he went to go no, play baseball. No, no, no. You got to change You got to replace 30 points you per night. You change the team regardless because it was getting old. And then also, and hold you, on. Did you also not have to replace 30 points per night? No, they still what won 56. The, no, on, listen. Man. No, listen. They Come still on, won 56 games that year. They Come almost on, beat the Knicks. They almost went back to Which the finals. Which exactly is why it's not a rebuild. The Warriors are not making the playoffs look this at me. year. That's my point. Look at me. Look the at me. The Warriors are not going to make the playoffs. Listen to you me. You understand that, listen, right? Listen. Listen. First three peak, right? Steve Kerr wasn't there. The guys who were very instrumental in that last three peak weren't there. You had to go out and find those guys. Jerry Krause, when even if Mike leaves, the team at first was getting old. Craig Hodges, your shooter, gone. Trent Tucker, he retired after '93. He was there for one year. Gone. You had to bring in a Steve Kerr. You had to bring in a cool coach. You had to bring in these other guys. You were still rebuilding. Now, it's not what you think of and what you think of a normal. You, you got God awful and terrible, but you had two people and you had to rebuild the rest of the team. Every, every championship team retools their roster the next year. It's that's fa- not true. Well, well, I mean, that's well, not true. Well, back then it was decent. That's not true. What do you mean? Chip teams did now rebuild their roster? You, no, no. Retool. It's a different. I disagree with that. It's a difference between rebuild and retool. Retool is like when did the Warriors retool? Me, retool is going out and getting a guy like a David West. That's 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 adding a different tool to your roster that's gonna help you get to and win a championship. But you still had a Iggy and you still had a Sean Livingston and you still had core guys like that who've been there forever. Okay, the whole fucking team one. The listen, whole, I'm sorry, the whole team wasn't gone. I feel you. The whole team was not gone. I'm not, look, I feel the you. whole team was I not gone. You. But you talking about the whole team was not gone. Look, right now, the whole team ain't gone. The whole team is hurt. Well, listen, we talking about the whole team not hurt. No, the main guys are Iggy, hurt. Iggy, Iggy, Livingston. Gee, if Iggy, Clay Livingston. Thompson and Steph Curry were healthy, if if Clay Thompson never got hurt and Steph Curry didn't get hurt this year, we would not be having this conversation. They're not running the league though. It doesn't matter. Listen. Here's a conversation. They're still a top ten team in the league. Here's a conversation. We, we, right we, now, we, they're a bottom ten team. Here's in the a conversation. League. We, That's we, the difference. Look, here's injuries. The, look, here's injuries. a conversation we would be having if they were all on the court. How the Warriors falling off? I'm fine with that. They're not mentioned at all right now. That's not true. That's still the only one. Only when you're laughing at them. Okay, okay. So exactly. So stop it. I'm just saying. Stop it. We, I'm just saying. Like you would. You, you would still. No matter what, had to because that. Because I think last year, if I'm not mistaken, the Warriors. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had the oldest roster in, in the league last year. One of them. 
So if you had the oldest roster in the league, you you automatically have to get younger. So you have to replace those guys. Like you have to go like Jacob Evans has to play. Pascal, they have to play. You like uh Eric Pascal's his name, right? I think so. Yeah. Those guys, like they have to who who I actually like a lot, actually. I really, really Decent, like it. But, I don't, but still, regardless like of those guys playing, like I will agree with Charles Barkley's assessment of Steph Curry can give you 30. Uh, D'Angelo Russell can give you 20 to 25. But then what is the rest of the team going to score? Right? And then Clay started looking like, Ugh. well, if Clay's out there, that's another 25 to 30, depending upon how many shots you're going to give him. That's the difference. That's the difference. A healthy also Clay defense. Thompson. Defense we're not, too. Yes, but a, but a healthy Clay Thompson contributes to this defense. Yeah, but Kevon Looney has also been injured as well Kavon this season. Willie Collins Stein has been hurt this I don't season. Think None of them have been healthy this season. Yeah, I don't think Collins they have been the beneficiary for the previous though. few years of moderately successful health on their teams. They've had a few two, three, four week injuries. Obviously, KD last season was like the first real big one that they had, where a guy was gone for a long time. The Warriors, not for a not for a long time. He's been out for like a month. Yeah, but I mean a long time. Now he's out for three to four months with a broken hand. So this season is over. Tank time. Um, it was a good run for the run that we had. Um, it, you know, even if we do get back there next year, it, it'll be a it'll be a completely different run just because of the fact that you know, regardless of what you want to say about the Bulls, the Bulls didn't miss the playoffs when Michael Jordan wasn't there. We are. A bottom five team in the league probably gonna finish bottom three, especially if Draymond Green is still gonna be the main guy on this team. D'Angelo Russell, I like him, but he can be game planned for because there are defenders in the West that there are in the East. It wasn't that much of a drop off. No, I'm, I, I'm, I wasn't joking. I'm, I still stand me. by that. I still told, stand I don't by know that. Why you stand? I still by stand that. by that. I don't know why. I still you stand, stand by that. that. I don't know if why. guys are healthy, then all he yeah, has to do no, is play no. his role. No. Kevin Durant's role in that offense we don't was even a role. KD played a role. Even we both said it numerous yeah, times. Kevin Durant was a role player yeah. on the Warriors, okay. so he played a role. Yeah. D'Angelo Russell would have been playing a role yeah. if the guys were but there. I don't know if the guys are yes, there. But yes, but also I don't know if D'Lo and Steph is the best backcourt. Like I don't I don't know how well they complement complement each other. I don't think we got a chance to see it. Yeah, I no, we didn't get a chance to see it. We I saw it for four with games. You. I agree. Four but games with a I bunch of rookies you. who missed a bunch of wide open shots. I agree with you. If you go back and rewatch they all those a lot Warriors of wide games. Shots. The, those blowout losses were not a matter of them getting outplayed or out effort, despite what Draymond Green wants to say. It's the fact that there are a ton of young guys they dig it that out have never a been bit, a little bit. They not, I, not, not, not enough, bit. not enough bit, to the point bit. where I'm a fan, and when I'm watching the game, I'm thinking, "Yo, y'all not getting out effort." I'm thinking, I'm seeing backpack Jason Kidd take jump shots and miss them, time after time after time. I'm seeing uh, 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 Omari Spellman miss wide open layups. I'm seeing Glenn Robinson the third. I saw I've seen Glenn Robinson the third this year miss at least about 18 wide open layups. I can I can say what I want to about Harrison Barnes. He was not missing wide open layups. I would like seriously. Glenn Robinson the third has missed so many wide open layups. I literally will be watching the game. I'm turning this off. Glenn Robinson the third got swung the ball and hit the backboard. I'm like, yo, it's bad. Dude. It's not. It's, it's not bad, the same, bro. It's, it's not the bad. same. Like they, like they, not, they really, really. It, it is not the same, like bro. Their, like their defense is bad, but the thing that contributed to it being bad is they can't make a shot. So if you can't take them from, like if you can't make them take the ball out the net to actually have to inbound the ball and they just run up down the court, like you're gonna be even worse. Yeah, I mean, you just you just double or triple team Steph and like half fun. He's like literally. You, you could literally probably run a box and one against. This I, team. I yes. No, I know. I mean, against the team that's currently on the way. You By know the what? way, well, you know what? With D'Lo on the floor, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can. Not with D'Lo. On the yeah, floor. yes, you not can. I will take floor. my chance. Not with D'Lo. D'Lo is not playing the way like that. With D-Lo D-Lo not, yes, you. Yes, you could. Bro. Come on, bro. G, literally. No, li- no, literally. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. He gonna pass the ball. One person gonna run out to D'Lo, and it's over with. I've succeeded. Then he gonna have to pass it. Then somebody else gonna get it. I win, bro. No, I bro, win. I can't agree. With By that. the way, I had to bring up this lineup you said because it was fucking hilarious. I went back and listened to this. You said put Draymond at the three. That was hilarious. I meant that. I, I still I, mean I, that. I don't know why you mean it. I still mean that. I don't know why you mean I it. I still mean that. That's a terrible lineup. Why? G, who gonna shoot? G, what you mean? Who gonna shoot? Who the, who gonna shoot right now? You just I, told me Glenn Robinson got the ball wide open and hit the side of the backboard. I think that Jason the same. Kidd can't do no worse than that. He might. After Jeez. three, G. After three, man, look. <laughs> no, I once saw that man in the finals give me thirty plus and drop threes. That was on, four years ago. It G. don't matter. That was, that was a very have long you time. Have seen ago, Glenn Robinson's latest work? Yeah. Have exactly. you seen Draymond's when shooting the ball? Look, 
It ain't good you either. You told me he could be a number one guy on his own team. What did I say? He's going to look. Let's, no, 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 no. For clarity. He going to get shot. For clarity. For clarity. Here's what I said. He could average 17 points. You would lose a lot of basketball games. Okay, so what? He would also, I'm not seeing 17. Listen, listen. He would also probably shoot 39 to 40% and like 22% from three. But he could do it when he's healthy. No, he can't. I also don't think he's healthy. And yeah, I, I, I don't think he's healthy now. And I don't think it gets... Better for Draymond at this point. Draymond's season is averaging 9.4 points, 42.9% from the field goal range, 30.8% from the three-point line, uh, line, 7.8 rebounds per game, and 5.2 assists per game. That's not a terrible season if people are there. Like, like, like if, like if he does, like if he has these numbers last year, that's not a bad season. It's just. Nobody's there anymore. That's why Draymond Green is not a Hall of Fame. You know, he, he's a Hall of Fame. Draymond Green, to he's me, this year it. proves he's not a Hall of Fame. He's getting in the Hall of Fame. Draymond's not a Hall of Fame. He's not a Hall of Fame. He's getting in the Hall of Fame. I don't think he's a Hall of Fame. He's getting in. I think this year's. He's year getting in. No, no. He's Guys getting like in. Ben Wallace and Chris Webber have, have had tough times getting into the Hall of Fame. Draymond Green is not a Hall of Fame. They don't have three I rings. I think this year proves that Draymond Green is not a Hall they of Fame. They don't have three rings. It doesn't matter. He's he, going to get in. He's the beneficiary of those people like with said, those three rings. No. He's a third ballot Hall of no, Famer. No, I said fourth. Fourth. He's not a fourth ballot Hall of Famer. No, he needs more. You really more. do not like Draymond no more. No, it's like, not. You do not rock It's not about no me more. not liking Draymond. You do not it's not rock personal against no Draymond. Is that the personal? I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I mean, we're analyzing basketball. We're talking basketball. He's not going to get in. Defensive player of the year award, he has what, three all-star appearances, right? Or two? He's a three-time all-star, a steals champ, three-time champion, two-time all-NBA, uh, five-time all-defensive. He's getting he's in. He's a, a defensive player. That, no, he's that, he's getting in. That's no, a very impressive not. resume, G. With a he's career average in. of 9.1, he's 6.9, gonna get in. and 4.9. He's going to get in. Shooting 43.9%, he's 32. Going to get no, in. he's not. Look at his accomplishments. He's, he's going to get in. Draymond's not getting he's gonna in the get Hall in. of Fame, bro. It's going to be like third ballot, but he's getting in. He's not. He's Look, getting I'll in. I bet he don't even have 10,000 points. Probably not, but he's getting in. Draymond Green has... He's not getting in He's getting in the Hall of Fame. Draymond Green has 4,872 points, uh, 1,000 turnovers, 576 blocks, 737 steals, 2,615 assists, 3,739 rebounds, and he's, no, he's not getting, he's getting in, in. He's getting in. He's, he's going to be like fourth ballot, but he's, he's not, getting he's in. On, and he's made 489 three-pointers. He's, he's getting not in. getting in all of He's going to have to wait a while, but he's Draymond's getting in. Draymond's not getting if in. If you look Draymond, at his accomplishments, Draymond no. literally this year is losing his Hall of Fame He's spot. getting in, bro. No. For, Draymond lost his Hall of Fame no, spot this year. No, I, I think all the three main guys of that war in Dynasty, as in like the three the, the three guys who you know started it from the beginning, Steph, Clay Thompson, Draymond all getting in. I think Steph is first ballot. I think Clay is probably going to end up being first ballot. Draymond is probably going to be like third ballot, but he's but he's going to get in. No, he's not. He's getting in. He's not a Hall of Fame. You looked at like Z, read his accomplishments one more time. His accomplishments. Yes, but they're not better than the, they're not better read than them. guys that read are better them. than him. Read them. Read he's them. not better read than them. Ben Wallace. Is Ben Wallace in the Hall of Fame? No, but exactly. Ben Wallace don't have three rings. What are you talking about? Ben Wallace got one ring. He won. And he got one ring. And he, he won like three. four defensive players of the year. What? He did. But people G. also count the rings in. Come on, G. He, what are you talking about? I hear you. What? Ben's going to get in, but he doesn't have three rings. They count G. the rings ben in. Ben Wallace, four-time All-Star, more than Draymond, two-time defensive rebounder champ, one-time block champ, a champion, five-time All-NBA, six-time All-Defense, okay. four-time defensive okay. player of the year. He is hey, not in the Hall of Fame. Draymond look, Green. Dray oh, wait, wait, check it out. And read Draymond's college accomplishments. Because he went to mad Final Fours. He's going to get in. No, he's not. It's not going to be first ballot. It's not going to be second ballot. He's going to have to wait. He's going to have to wait 10 no, years, bro. Draymond's but he's getting in. Famer, bro. He's getting in. Draymond, let's see. He was the, the NABC National Player of the Year. Consistent first team All American. Oh, he's getting in. Oh, he's getting in. First team All Big Ten. Second, third team. Yeah. How many Final Fours? How many Final Fours? Um, I don't see any Final Fours. He been fours. he 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 been a two, I think. Uh, Did he win national championship too? I don't know. No, he didn't win national. He been to to some uh, Final Fours though. I I, I know he has. Um, at least two, I think. He's getting in. He has a very impressive list of accomplishments on his basketball resume. Now, his numbers are not that impressive, but his basketball resume is impressive. No, it's not. GG, come on, G. It's really not. Yeah, it is, G. It's How many not. people got three rings, bro? And was actually starting for all those rings and, were, and, were, and, 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 and was playing a pivotal role on those teams, bro. I can't give you that, bro. G. Vlade in the Hall of Fame. Derek Fisher. 
Am I lying? Fish play the G. Uh, hold on, G. Fish hold on, is stop, more. Stop. G. Fish is more what? What? He what? What? He, fish is he more. He was what? more pivotal for them. Like fuck you, G. Fuck G. you. He beat the Smurfs. Fuck you. He beat the Smurfs. Fuck. He hit. Oh, Are you serious, bro? Are you fucking serious, G? What you like, G? Hold on, wait. Shout out, I, shout out, Fish. L. A. Smart. Shout out, Fish. Derek Fish and my guy. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? See, are you dead serious right now? No, no, no. I'm not saying Fish was a better player. I, but I'm you saying said he's more pivotal than Draymond? And, and contributed to the championship. What? 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 Yeah, about what and what? Are you, Draymond cost the Warriors a championship. Fish ain't ever cost the Lakers no championship. Cause he, gee, because he wasn't pivotal enough to cost nobody yes, nothing. Was. No. Yes, he was. What do you mean? Yes, he was. Team? I'm not saying he's a better player. I know what you're saying. He's no, not a better player. I know what you're but saying. But in terms of pivotal to the championship, no. give me Fish. No. Give me Fish. No. Give me the Fish. Lamar, Some Lakers dude. fans will argue you that Fish was more close than Steph Curry. That's what I'm saying. So you could have said Lamar, G. No. Lamar, I'd have sat down. Give me Fish. No. Even Lamar. That's cool. Lamar, I'm fine. That no, 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 wait, 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 Lamar and Pal, no argument. Big for that. Big Shot Bob, Big no. Shot Bob got like 11, no. 28, 9, no. 10, 11, 12 fucking championship winners. He's not an all star. He has no defense player of the year awards. He's never been all NBA. No. Stop that. Look, Stop that. I'm not going to listen to Ben Wallace ain't in the Hall of Fame. Draymond Green is not a Hall of Famer. Ben Wallace is going to get in the Hall of Fame. Backpack Jason Kidd ben is not Wall a Hall look, of Famer. Look, 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 look. And there's no offense to him ben personally. Wall I look. like him as a person. I root for him as a person. I rooted for him even through all of the stupid shit. Even through him. Because actually we haven't even talked about this. Um, let's actually talk about this. Kevin Durant um, said that Draymond Green, um, you know, him calling him yeah, a bitch, yeah, yeah. did contribute to, um, you know, to him leaving. Even Kevin, even him, even when he cost us KD, I didn't blame the man. I didn't blame the man. I mean, Warriors I didn't know. Me, even when he cost us KD, KD, even when he cost us KD, fans no, told me KD. You know, what I'm saying is, Dub what I'm saying is, 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 even when he cost us KD, even when he cost us a championship at the net slapping LeBron, he didn't cost you the championship. He did. Yes, he no, he did. Yes, he did. Stop no, he didn't. Stop it. You should, yo, Game Bowles 7 was at home. Bowles game 7 was at home. Gee, Bowles doesn't get hurt. Game 7 they, was at home. Bowles doesn't get you hurt. You can't put that all on him. Uh, yes, they do. They no, don't, you can't, yes, you can't they, put that all yes, on him. Yes, they can. It's on Draymond. On Draymond lost us that final. Clay was on that court. Steph was on Draymond that court. Draymond has cost us two finals. No, no. Clay yes, was on that court. Steph Draymond was on that cost court. us two finals and Kevin Durant. You can't put that all on Draymond. Because he should have been better last year than You can't put that all on Draymond. You can't put that Pascal all on Draymond. Pascal Siakam was giving his ass make, work. You trying Serge to make Ibaka Dray was giving his ass work. You trying to make Draymond escape was giving his ass work. You trying to make Draymond the scapegoat, and you can't put all that on Draymond. Draymond's not the scapegoat. That's he is the scapegoat. That's not, not all on yes, Draymond. Yes, he is. You lost a whole three one lead. That's on yeah, everybody in that man, basketball bro. organization. No, it's on That's on no, it's on no, Draymond stop. Green. No, it's on you don't lose three Draymond games in a row. Green. You don't lose it's three games in a row because one player was fucking up. No, all y'all was messing up. And Draymond Green was bad, and you lost Kevin Durant because of Draymond. He balled out in Game Seven while Steph Curry had seventeen points. So, so what happened in Game Seven? Where was he in the game? He got suspended. Oh, Did, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Where was he in the game? He got suspended. Wait, wait, oh, I know where he was wait, at. Wait, he wait. was at the Oakland A's wait, facility wait, 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 across wait, the street because he couldn't enter the building. Did Draymond make Steph Curry throw the ball out of bounds behind his back with seven minutes left across the turnover? Did he make him do that? Will we be there if Draymond Green don't nut slap LeBron? Who knows? We know he wouldn't. Who knows? Stop. Stop. Who knows? You're lying. I don't know. You're lying. Who knows? You're lying. I don't know. If Kyrie will go out there and score forty-one, and LeBron go out there and score forty-one, we don't know what would happen. You are lying. You are lying. I don't know. Stop lying. I don't know. Who knows? Stop telling them fake. Game six happened. You're telling Game fables. seven happened. You could have won one of the games that wasn't You're all on Draymond lies. Green. Like that model. Somebody told a lie. Draymond one day. didn't That's make what that man. Right now. Draymond. Dr no, you're but look, lying. Draymond didn't make that man Steph Curry throw his mouthpiece at a fan. Draymond made Kevin Durant leave. Look, exactly. Did he not? He I don't made think he Kevin looked. Durant leave. KD didn't he say that he made Kevin made Durant him leave. leave. He made Kevin Durant do this. Look, I'm out. KD didn't say that he made him leave. He said that Draymond's. The co that that conversation he had with Draymond contributed to it. Now, granted, now look, hold on. That conversation may have happened because again, people may have assumed that Draymond was on his way out, not Draymond. That KD was on his way out anyway, and that's how he was feeling. And Draymond handled it the wrong way, and he has to fall on that sword. That 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 single handedly changed the narrative for Warriors fans and for the media to against Kevin Durant. That is why Kevin Durant left. That is why Draymond Green is to blame for the demise of all of this. Because he really Come is. On, because all he had to do, Draymond Green had his own selfish intentions involved in all of that. He wanted to get paid. He literally said during the rant, he called, after he called him a bitch, you know, reportedly numerous times, he said, we don't even need you. Right? You call me a bitch and then you say, we don't need you. Well, why? And I said it even when it happened. We don't need you because I want to get paid. 
I can get paid if you leave. You you command a, a super super max or a big big big. You know what I mean? If you leave, I get money. If we get D'Angelo Russell, I get money. If you stay, I have to leave and go play with Giannis in Milwaukee for t for pennies on the dollar because that's really where he was gonna wind up being in some place like that. That would be good for him. No, selfish intentions. Ruin the Warriors dynasty as it pertains to Draymond Green and I, it is, it is no personal dislike for the man I don't think he's a bad human being. I'm not saying he's a bad person. He's a fierce competitor But he is not a Hall of Famer he and he famer. ruined the Warriors he dynasty. The Warriors he dynasty. is not a Hall of Famer he's If Ben Wallace famer. is not a Hall of Famer. He is not a Hall of Famer. If game. Chris Webber is not a Hall of Famer His He concrete. is not a Hall of wait, Famer. Wait, wait. Draymond All Green. Look, Draymond look, Green is not a look. Hall of Famer. Stop the lies. Listen. Stop the listen. lies. Chris if Webber, Ben Wallace is not a Hall of Famer, Draymond Green is not a Hall of Famer. Chris Webber is a better player than Draymond Green, no doubt. But as far as basketball resumes, Draymond Green arguably has a better basketball resume than Chris Webber. No, he don't. Arguably. And you gonna, and you gonna pull tell up, me. Pull up accomplishments. And you gonna, pull no, up his accomplishments. No, and then pull up Draymond Green. Read him back to back. I swear to God. Read him back to back. I swear to God. Read him back to back. I swear to God. Read him back to back. I swear to God. Read him back to back. You so disrespectful. Read him back to back. You so disrespectful, bro. You the one who winning everything to you? Five time All Star, five time All NBA, Rookie of the Year, Rebounding Champ, All Rookie Team. That's it. Okay, now pull up Draymond. His career average twenty point seven, nine point eight, four point two. I said he a better player. When we talking about greater and better, I said he a better player. He a better basketball player. Now, 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 read Draymond's accomplishments right now. Read them. Read them all. Read them all. One second. Draymond Green and Rookie of the Year. Draymond Green, three-time All-Star, okay. two-time plus, three-time champ. Okay. Ooh, five -time, what three time three-time champ. Okay, so Five-time what? all what? Five-time five -time what? all defense. Ooh, okay. Okay, defense what you mean? Two, right? He was defensive player okay, cool. one year. Okay, got that too. Okay, so what? A steel champ one Ooh, year. Ooh, yeah. So what? Chris so Webber was five-time All-NBA. More all-time all NBA and three. more All-Star. Look, and, three rings. And defensive player of the year. And, and, Three rings. And, and, The rings don't matter to you now? No. Also, think about Since the when the ring think about the, you. Think about the conversation. Since when no, the no, wait a minute. Not the to rings you. are the only reason why you're telling me Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer. That matters a lot. No, it don't, because Rudy Gobert is a better player than Draymond Green. Rudy Gobert ain't a Hall of Famer right now. And he's a better player, player to player than Draymond That's Green. Right. But we talking about better and greater. He gonna get in. He's not for what Draymond Hall meant to the game. Listen, yeah. bro. And listen, he's bro. ruining it. For what no. Draymond means to the game of basketball, no, G. Draymond is getting in. Look, hold on, wait. The Warriors were. A dynasty. They were the dynasty of the 2010s. For what Draymond meant to that dynasty, thus the game of basketball, he's getting in. Now, granted, his stats are Draymond not that great. Draymond has been Bruce Bourne with more accomplishments. Okay, that's a Hall of Famer. It's not a Hall of it Famer. Is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Stop it is. It. And arguably, as far as never a dynasty to some people. Because they never won back to back. Okay, that's to them. But to me, I'm just saying. he ain't a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of He's Famer. He's the reason why KD left, and I'm glad KD left. Okay. Because you know what? If KD was here and he was healthy and all this was going down, I'm sure he'd be like, man, I wish I could leave anyways. Okay. And then it would just create turmoil in but, the locker room. But, then but, Crocodile Tears didn't say the Warriors dynasty. But who's the best team in the NBA? Let's talk about that. We kind of spoke on it last night. Um, on the 2 for 1 show. Make yeah, sure you go uh, and you check that out every night. 2 for 1 show. 10 p.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're talking, recapping the night's NBA action. Go ahead. Now, granted, the Sixers haven't lost a game yet. Yeah. So, so that's one thing to take into account. The Sixers haven't lost a game yet. The Lakers look very, very good. And they're still – Kuzma hasn't worked himself fully back. Uh, I'm sure AD and Braun are still figuring it out. And um, Rondo isn't back either, who, who, who I think will be good coming off the bench. to just set the table for guys and put guys in their correct positions when Braun is on the bench. Mm -hmm. But if I say the best team in the NBA, and I grant it could because I'm biased, came from the game last night, mm -hmm. but the Clippers are doing all of this while missing the whole Paul George. And he looked good. Like, and, 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 and look, I'm look, looks good. I'm going to tell y'all, I seen the man put up, like, I went to the game last night, I'm like, oh, you know, it's PG down. I'm just, you know, standing and watch him. The man looked good. The man's working out with Sam Cassell. He looked good. I seen him practice three on three. The man looked good. I seen him practice three on threes and practice for about 40 yeah, I, minutes I, I, against saying. Terrence Mann, Roddy Magruder. Um, that other rookie that they have, the tall guy, and some like other coach or something like that. He was man. He, he had he had everybody on skates. He had them all on skates. Like, but right now they are second in offensive rating. Second in offensive rating. Now they're 16th in defensive rating. But obviously Kawhi didn't play one game, and they're missing a the whole Paul George. I'm not worried about their defense. I'm not worried because defense last either. year, last year their problem was they couldn't score enough. Like you know what I mean? Yes. Like when they played the Warriors, they just couldn't score, score enough. enough. Like like again. I don't think any of us have any doubts that when it's time to strap up, the Clippers can strap up. Yeah. If we in a game seven, we got seven minutes left on the clock, we got to play some defense. 
I don't think nobody got any doubt with the defenders that they can have that what what that that they have on the roster that they can strap up. Yeah. So they five and they five and two right now. Yeah. They play some. They beat the Lakers. Beat the Jazz. Yeah. Lost to the Jazz one time. Uh, who else have they beaten? They beat. Um, who else have the Clippers played? They beat. Uh, I, I can't even remember. Me, I've me. seen them win a, a few times. I saw them beat the Jazz and the Spurs. Spurs. So I mean, so, not the Jazz. I saw them beat the Spurs, Spurs. and who else? What was the other game? And the Hornets. Hornets. So the so, Hornets, who actually are three and three, they compete. Hornets got a better record than the Nets. They compete. So better record than the Warriors. So so they've beaten some quality teams early on. And Roddy McGruger, who was a rotation player, he wasn't there. And again, they're still missing a whole Paul George. Even when you look at the numbers right now, they have it's really over, bro. They have four guys in double figures. Kawhi's at twenty nine, Lou is at twenty, Montrez is basically at twenty, Jamichael was at ten, Landry is at nine. But I think Landry will improve when his wrist gets better. I think Landry will eventually end up averaging about ten points. Obviously, Jamichael will probably won't won't average ten for the rest of the season. But I think Landry could average ten points. And you add in Paul George, who's going to be to a, a um, twenty point scorer. So realistically, possibly they could excuse me, they could they could have a top five offense in the league and a top five defense in the league. So you know what? I'm gonna go with the Clippers. Now, granted, again, it could be my bias because I cover the team, I see the team, I see them daily. You know, like I see the clips, I've been at the practices, so it could be you know my bias. But I gotta go with the Clippers because of the fact they're doing this missing a whole Paul George. Like I don't think people really understand yeah, that Paul, that yeah, Paul that George has three, not he played. Was top three MVP vote. Now look, now look, now look, now look, now look. He had a torn labor. Now look, I just want to say this. I don't think Paul George is 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 you know the greatest player of all time. He's, he's a Hall of Famer. He's great. He's Super arguably star better than Kawhi though. No, a- arguably. No. no, I said arguably. Okay, arguably. I'm I didn't say he's a better player. player. Okay. okay, I said arguably. Okay. All right, arguably okay. is a difference. All right, that means that you are missing. Okay. No, but that means you're still yes, missing yes, a potential yes, top yes, five yes, guy. That's yes. what I'm saying. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, saying, I'm saying, like, look, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we talking about prime LeBron when we I, talking I, about Paul. I honestly think he's a better offensive player than Kawhi. I think Kawhi is just a better all-around player than him. I think Kawhi, Kawhi, in terms of a talent perspective, is arguably a top three-level talent on offense and defense that you can argue post-2000. And honestly, maybe and really since like 1980. On offense, I don't on know. On offense and defense, nah, yes. Nah, no. you, defense like, you've been the main one telling me he does never get rushed. He never gets rushed with his decisions yeah, and what he offense, does. But no. no, but this is what I'm saying. We've never seen him take volume shots like yeah. this before. He's taking 25 a game in the second. 22. Hit. 22. 22 now? 22 a game. He was taking 25 before the game uh, versus the Jazz, um, the last game. We've never seen him do that. And he still had the second highest PR in the NBA. Yeah. Michael Jordan frequently was taking 23, 24, 20. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we have to I'm put not, that kind of stuff into yeah, context yeah, I, 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 with I that. But we you, also have to look I'm at not. his physical attributes. He is a huge human yeah, yeah, being. He lives to exist in the mid range. Yeah, yeah, I feel on you. offense. I'm yeah, yeah. You, no, 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 no. I'm just saying no, no, it's, no, no. it's arguable. No, no, no. I don't know what I'm saying. It's great. Top three offense post 2000. No, I'm not. Upset. Top ten, fine. Top three, hell no. Why? Why not? No, I gotta go Harden. I gotta go. Uh, uh, I gotta go because offense. But Braun. you gotta think about when it counts, though. Listen, listen, no, listen. When it counts, listen, though, we listen, saw that listen, man in Joel Embiid. Listen, 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 listen. I gotta go offense. So Braun. Steph got to be in there. Even like a guy like Gilbert, like any, like that little three year run Gilbert had, hard. Arguably at that point in time, he was Kobe. Uh, but arguably at that point in time, when Gilbert was doing it, he was the best, as as good of an offensive player as anybody. He was he was dropping fifty balls like they was twenty points. Yeah. So yeah, and top three, no. Come on, man. Nah, 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 nah. Look, defense. Gilbert G. Offensively, Gilbert couldn't even be Braun. He. Like, I got I, mad respect look, for Gilbert. I just said he missed Bron- free throws. It's fucking Bron. But he missed How many free throws. No, Bron? I need you to come up close. See, a whole Co- conference didn't beat Bron can. for eight years. Guess who, be, guess who beat him? Kawhi. Yeah. Kawhi. Okay. Kawhi. A whole conference Kawhi. didn't beat Bron for yeah. eight years, G. Guess who did? The Spurs. Kawhi. The Spurs. And Kawhi. The Spurs. Who won five MVP? Bron was hooping. Who won five MVP? Bron, Bron Who won five MVP? Listen. So what? Who held him? Who held him now? Who won five MVP? 30. Who did he LeBron see when that man came back to the he NBA? Average shit. thirty in that series. He saw that man come back he in the game. Average he said, thirty. Shit. He like look. G. Shout he out Kawhi. Like, look, 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 real quick. Shout out Kawhi. I think Kawhi. If we talking about defense, hell yeah. Top three defensive talent. Top five offensive talent. Post two thousand. I cannot go that far. But again, what I'm saying is with the Clippers, I don't think people really, really understand, or maybe they're ignoring. Or, you know, because it's the Clippers, maybe it's still low-key. 
But people don't understand they're missing a whole Paul George. It's be it's when he like I have I, when he gets back they might win fifteen games straight. They might lose like one or two, but then they might win fifteen games straight. All right. So for me, I'm currently going to say the best team in the NBA um, is the Clippers, and I'm going to agree with you. Um, and I'm going to agree with you for different reasons. I think that they're the best team in the NBA, not only because Paul George is missing, but also because of the fact that Kawhi Leonard is becoming better and more comfortable playing in this offense and facilitating the guys. So he can still have nights like he's had over the previous couple of games where he'll shoot like 9 or 30 or 10 or 30, mm-hmm. but still be able to create for other guys. And also, even you know in the last game that they played versus the Jazz, when they won at home and he played... I said I did a halftime report during the halftime, and he had five points. And I said, I guarantee you Kawhi Leonard is going to finish this game with 30 points. He finished the game with 30 points. He has another gear that he shifts into at the end of the third quarter to the fourth quarter. We saw it time after time after time last year in Toronto. We've seen it even when he was playing with the Spurs in those years before Zaza was the mercenary and, and took him out. Um, That's one of the biggest what else in NBA history too, by the way. About the Spurs, yeah. Like we don't like. Yeah, I really, really think don't. like I really think like regardless that series was was going six. I think they win that game. We don't know when then they win that game. So you got to split. You got to think they go back to San Antonio. I'm thinking they're gonna get one. That's one of the biggest what else in NBA history. We don't know what would have happened. That and the Lakers getting hurt. Yeah. But but I think that just looking at what he can do, Luke Will is still I think trying to find his comfort. In his role in this team, and I feel like as you know, someone who sees him all the time, I see him after games, and he always, to me, seems frustrated. And I and I kind of don't understand because last year it was a, it was, he felt very like free willing and happy to me. He felt a lot happier in post game to me. This he did to me this year. He feels annoyed, but I feel like he's annoyed because all of the questions are no longer about him and the team and the team's grit. It's about, and it's not me saying this to try to like say that there's chemistry issues. It's not about chemistry issues, but it's also when you got to deal with it's like when you're the guy on a team that was scrappy and made it, and now you got two guys coming in, and now you did all every question he gets for the most part, or any of these guys are getting is usually about them first, and then the rest of them about Kawhi. So that you you dealing with that, but then you also got to deal with Paul George eventually coming into the mix. So then it's like. The questions are no longer about us and the team. It's about the guys that are on the team. And I just feel like it's a certain level of like... Can I, can I come no, no, wait, no, no, wait a minute. Let me finish my point first. And it's a certain level of comfort within that that I feel like they operated within last year. And I think uh, the opposite of it is a guy like Pat Bev who will just go and work out every day after the game. Pat Bev, literally, I ain't, see, I ain't seen this man in the locker room yet because he usually will go and work out yeah. after the game. So I think he's just been like, all right, cool. I don't got to talk no more. I'm just going to go work out and put that in other ways. And Lou Will is just more of like... All right, let's talk about the team and not just talk about like individual guys. Let's not talk about how my he even said it to me. He said, "I'm not worried about people keep asking me about how my game is going to change. My game is going to change. I'm still going to be me regardless of who's on the team and stuff like that." So it's not that it's locker room issues. I just think he has to get adjusted within that role. But I still don't think he will still find his footing until Paul Paul George gets there. And to me, what that means is that I, we really don't know what this team is going to be yet, regardless of Paul George, because the guy who you told me is a better scorer than Joel Embiid, is still not comfortable playing within his role, but still giving you 20 a night, and Trey is giving you 19 a game right now. Go ahead. I think it's comfortable in, 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 in his role. I think he might be annoyed because it's just way more media there. Like, even if you walk in the locker room, last year it would be like 10 people sometimes. Yeah. Now you walk in, you like 20, 20, 25 people in there. I think he's annoyed. It's like, bro, like, camera's all in my face. Like, gee, I'm trying to, like, get dressed and go home, right? Just play the game. Like, I'm probably annoyed because of that. And like you said, y'all ask me mad questions. Like, well, I don't want to talk about Kawhi all day, bro. Yeah, it's not, so trying to, it's, it's not, it's not me so, saying that there's chemistry so, so, issues. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that it's just a shift in, nah, in pace. Nah, it's a I change of pace nah, for those I guys. Don't, but again, I don't, I don't think he has an issue with it. I think what he said about the road, like his role was to do, like he going, Lou Will going to be Lou Will no matter who on the court. Yeah. Lou Will know I come in at the six minute mark. My job is to get buckets. I still think that. And I, I like, disagree with that, though. I think this year, that's my only issue with him. He has to realize that it's not about him getting buckets. It's about him coming in, getting buckets, but also making sure everybody else gets buckets. Like Pop, like even when Pop, you know, his famous quarterback Kawhi was, Kawhi, you know, the game changed for Kawhi when Kawhi realized that when I ran a play for Kawhi, it was for other people to score, not for Kawhi to score. And no, I no, feel no, like, no, no, you said it's not always for you to score. No, no, no. He said, for him, he's Pop said, 
of a while back, like years ago. I that Ka- it was it was no. It, no he was talking about he was talking about Kawhi. He said Kawhi realized that when I run a play for him, it's not always for him to score. It's for uh, it's for the people around him to be able to score because he can get a bucket. I think whenever Lou knows he wants. that though. Especially nah, nah. In, 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 in I the, think uh, you know, last year Lou was averaging seven assists. Now obviously he's not holding the ball as much. Did he four point seven? Yeah, but I'm not seeing the same level of facilitating that I saw last year. I feel like he's trying to be more aggressive offensively. And what I'm saying is that when PG comes back, those shots that he's taking are going to drop down even more. So I want him to continue to facilitate. I still thought Lou Will could be a six assist guy on his team. I still think that's what they need. I asked Doc the other day after the game if he thought that them lacking the traditional point guard would hurt them. And he literally, he, he, he really, he, you know, he literally said, yeah, like having a point guard, you know, would be good, but like, that's not what we, so like, he's literally saying, we don't have a real point guard. Yeah, like, we got the reason guys why, that are, but like, you know the reason I mean? why I disagree with that is because you have more ball handlers now. Like, you didn't have a Kawhi. Like, Kawhi was even, like, you have more, so there's no reason for Lou Will to be averaging like six, seven assists. Why not? Because look, to average seven assists, you, 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 you I don't you, say seven. Listen. He's averaging 4.7 right now on like the only like early season. If he stays around 4.7, that's fine. Like you don't need if if he's that means they won't have one guy on his team that's averaging more than five. I don't think six. he will. I, I and think, actually, Kawhi averaging five point seven. But look, okay. but look, I, but look, I think, but that's going to go down. Listen, but listen, 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 bro. I don't think you will because you have too many ball handlers. So like when you see somebody averaging, uh, I actually there's actually a stat. If you go back and look at all the championship teams, no team has a player usually who averages like ten assists. Because that means one person is dominating the ball a lot. Nobody on this Clipper team is going to dominate the ball enough to be able to get seven, eight assists. I don't need him to average seven, eight assists, but he's, he's averaging four point seven. Need, but what I'm saying is, I need six. What I'm that's too what much, you look, bro. No, but this. But what I'm saying is, when you a lot of times what you'll see is usually the starting lineup has been like having trouble scoring at the beginning of the game. Once Patrick Patterson is not there, you replace that with twenty five points per game. Guys like Patrick Patterson is going to be coming off the bench. You still need his shooting. You still need your Michael Green shooting. You still need Landry Shaman shooting. You still need Rodney Magruder to shoot. You still need Zubak to be able to make plays. Doc said he wants to leave Lou and Trez out there with either PG or Kawhi at all times. So I, they're not, they're, they're not. PG and Kawhi are not going to be the only ones that's going to be holding the ball. Lou is going to have to hold the ball, yeah, be which fine. means that I'm going to still be looking for him to be more of a playmaker. Once PG comes back, those shot attempts are not going to be there. So what I'm saying, they will, but they will, but I'm talking, to, no, but but this one, it's a difference. I'm talking about in rhythm shots. Now, Lou, no, Lou can take whatever shot he wants to take right now. When PG comes back and PG's on the floor with Lou, he can take Lou's he not going to just, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Watch, when, it's, when the shot attempts drop down to more like 13 and he has to be much more selective in his shots, no, look, you're going to see a I little bit that. of a sputtering. So that's what I'm saying. I agree with Get that. Get guys like Jermichael and Rodney Magruder and, 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 and Patrick Patterson open buckets. Oh, these guys, you're gonna need to depend on those guys. I agree with the that. Clippers are only making seven threes a game right listen, now. That's not good. Listen, that's not good. Listen, I fully agree with that. But my thing is this: usually, which is why I also think Lou Will is going to end up taking a lot more big shots down the stretch than what people would think he is, because your primary defenders are always going to be on Kawhi and PG. Yeah, meaning he gets left with like the third or fourth best defender. He gets left probably with like, let's say, if, if you play, give me a team. If you play the Lakers, right? Yeah. I'm assuming Braun gonna have to take somebody. Kuzma go or like or like Bradley might have to take somebody, but Bradley can't. Bradley get Bradley ain't got to take nobody. Bradley gonna take Lou Will. Bradley gonna take Lou Will. So it's like, look, and, that, and even if Bradley don't take Lou Will, Danny Green gonna take Lou Will. Danny Green Danny might have to take PG or Kawhi. I'm fine with that. But so but so still so, that so, leaves. So look, Bradley, 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 and Lou Will. Like I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's, it's not like last year when you played the Warriors, you getting your best defender is on Lou Will. Your best perimeter defender is on Lou Will. That's never going to be the case anymore. Yeah, but uh, ever. But, but so, all I'm saying is I just need more facilitator, I feel what you're less saying. of a score. I feel what you're saying, but I think we like... We know he can put up 22. Listen, I think his shot attempts may drop like to like 14, yeah, because like... But he still can take whatever shots he wants because he'll still always have the best matchup. All, out of like everybody on it, like off, like when it, when, it, when it comes to getting buckets, he will always have the best... Especially when they come back, he will always have the best matchups because you physically... You have to pay attention to Kawhi, and you have to pay attention to Paul George. Like, yo, my best defense, even what I think messaged Jazz up yesterday was the fact that 
uh, Quinn Snyder was like, Yo, Royce McNeil is my best defender. So we have to guard Kawhi. He's not that best defender. Look, look, Bogdanovich has been playing better defense than Royce O'Neal, and I thought Bogdanovich was going to be a weak spot. Look, I I think they should have kept Bogdanovich on Kawhi. For one, he's just bigger. So if Kawhi raises up on Bogdanovich, he probably still sees Bogdanovich. If he raises up on Royce, he doesn't see Royce. But in theory, Royce is your best perimeter defender. But that works if you're like on Harden because they're more the same size. So your best defenders are always going to be on Kawhi and PZ. Most teams don't have two elite perimeter defenders. If you do, they own them two. Meaning you don't have three elite perimeter defenders. No, I don't think no team, for the most part, has three elite perimeter Maybe the Lakers and the Sixers. But most teams that you're going to play, for the most part, don't have three elite yeah, perimeter but, defenders. But I think the other thing that you have to think about is that uh, you don't need elite perimeter defenders to be able to play PG and Kawhi. Sometimes you just need a defender that's long enough that can move his feet. I think Jeremy Grant can. Def- I mean, is a guy that even the Nuggets can potentially present some matchup problems for. What, what, but like, what, what about mean? the other two? Huh? But now you got to guard. Uh, but, but like now you got to guard Paul George, and now you got to guard Lou. Yeah, huh? Who, like who guard the other two? What do you mean? I, I, Jamal I, Murray I guarding Lou Williams. Huh? Jamal Murray guarding Lou Williams. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm like literally. I'm fine with that. If the Nuggets want to run a big line about there, and they want to have like Jokic, Millsap, and Jeremy Grant, so that way they can guard up and be able to and be able to protect the paint against the against the Clippers in the mid range, then you. All, I mean, all you're doing is taking long three shots. Like you, I mean, the, the Nuggets not, realistically you, can do that. Yeah, but you're not. That's really, a team that realistically yes, can do that. The Lakers have, are are a team that can run a huge lineup. You put eighty at Nuggets the four. Lineup, PG you, can't guard eighty listen, at the four. Listen, that Nuggets that lineup. That means Ron will have to go head up listen, with with him. I agree with you on the Lakers, but that Nuggets lineup you said isn't huge. If I look at the rim and I see Jokic there, oh, I'm elevating. If I see Millsap there, I'm elevating. Yeah, Even but, if I see Grant they, there, I'm all, elevating. But but Millsap and Grant are decent defenders. I don't think you need straight up perimeter defenders to be able to contain this Clippers team. I think you need you need size and guys that can move. But anyways, let's move on. Let's actually talk about the other team right down the hallway in Staples Center. Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers have been looking extremely, extremely look impressive. PG um, Braun, I love it. What are your thoughts on the LA Lakers right now? They currently are have the second best record in the league right now. LeBron James is averaging 11 assists. He's 14th in the league and scoring right now. The Lakers are on a five-game winning streak. You know, ever since they suffered the defeat, um, you know, versus the Clippers. Obviously, we both just said that the Clippers are the best team in the NBA to us. Um, what are your thoughts on the Lakers, and why aren't the Lakers your best team in the NBA? I'm gonna say they're not the best team because I mean, it, it's it's like so close because I I need Kuzma to be Kyrie. Now he's not. Now listen, when I like when I when I say I need, I think people look at what Kyrie's averaging, like how good Kyrie is, and think that I need him to be that. I just need him to be some form of what Kyrie was. When I need a bucket, and, I, and, I, and I, from the perimeter, and, I, and I, I need to walk away from you, and you figure it out. I need Kuzma to be that guy, mm-hmm. but be that guy like if, if if I need Kuzma to be like the Lou Will or something mm-hmm. like that. Like you can do that with Lou Will. Yeah. So Kuzma, I think I just think Kuzma is the most important player for this basketball team. I really do. I know what AD is gonna do. I know what Bron gonna do. Like that, they, they gonna give me they like they they gonna give me forty points. Uh, I'm gonna say fifty points, twenty rebounds, and basically twenty assists between the two of them. Mm-hmm. Like I know that off top. But I need Kuzma. Like I don't know what that's like. That's that. That's the question mark to me. Yeah. And Kuzma has to be that third scorer because if he's not, then you pick wrong. Like you picked wrong. There's there is no you pick wrong. But look, the like Pelicans wanted wanted all of them. But look, 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 you, but listen. You, you were able to stave off them keeping like getting him. Yeah, but but look, I, you I, didn't I, pick I, wrong. You wouldn't. You couldn't have kept Ingram. Like me, I like. Like I Ingram know, has like, been great this year. Like, you the Pelicans and you didn't take Ingram. You were stupid. I know you couldn't have. I like. I know you couldn't have. But. Now you stuck with Kuzma, and you could have like if, if that's the case, I then would have kept the other team. Is like, deal up this year, or did they get Ben Who? Oh yeah, they, no, Bi Kuzma, deal's coming. No, no Kuzma, they gave him. No, it's next year. So okay. you, so you also kept him for cap reasons because he has yeah. a lower. He was big yeah. lower. Okay. But I need, I need, I need Kuzma to be a eighteen point, seventeen point per game score. But those eighteen to seventeen come when it matters. Okay. I just need him to be a guy you can step up and uh, hit big buckets, but. For the Lakers, I mean, they look great. Like, AD, I, I still think AD and Brown learn how to play with each other. I still think AD is also getting some of his shots in places that he's not used to getting some of his shots. Yeah. I don't think he's used to being in the post as much as he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think usually AD is used to, like, you know, catching it at the free throw line or, yeah. like, or, or, like, or, like, the elbow facing up and making a move. And, like, a lot of times now he's being posted up. Yeah. I think he's getting used to that. Um, but uh, I like the way they look, man. Point 
Point guard, Brian looks great. I think that if we if we talk about pick and roll players, he's arguably one of the best. In the, not arguably, he's he's one of the best in the league right now. Arguably the best when it comes to pick and roll. Like the pocket passes he'll make and the bounce pass off the pick and roll to AD are incredible. To AD or Javale or Dwight are incredible. So okay. I mean, when I look at this Lakers team, and also I, I think Rondo needs to come back because. The second lineup, they don't really have any table setters. Mm-hmm. When they take Braun out the game, they have really no like Kuzma. I mean, not Kuzma. Cook can you know get his own shot, but he don't really set this cool. The Caruso kind of kind of like the same thing. Troy Daniels did just to shoot the ball. Mm-hmm. They don't really have anybody to set the table for anybody else for like ten minutes. Mm-hmm. I think Ronald could do that. But this team is very very impressive, man. Like, the, but this is why I'm so excited about basketball this year. I can say this about four five teams. Yeah, <laughs> all of them look good. So we'll see. You know, injuries, attrition. We'll see what happens. But the Lakers look great to me. I'm not upset at that. I think that the Lakers look really, really good. Um, I'm not going to – the reason why they aren't the best team uh, in the league and also the best team in L.A. to me um, is just because of the fact that I just don't – I'll put it this way. The Clippers are making seven threes a game. I think it's like currently like around like 14th to the, to the 18th spot in the league in terms of three-point made a game. Mm-hmm. They still have a top five offensive rating, right? They're still missing a top three defender in the NBA, according to the Defensive Player of the Year, and a top three player in the NBA, according to the MVP voting last year, right? You're going to add that into there, which literally also takes your size and athleticism. Patrick Patterson is not a good defender. Paul George is a great defender. Now you have three elite defenders in your starting lineup, and Trez is a, is a pretty good defender off the bench, except for, as you mentioned before, right. you know, kind of when, when you pull him out off the perimeter a little bit. But even Zubak has been playing a little bit well. For the Lakers, they have not been making threes. And but they've had the best defense in the no, league. But, 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 that's the, but that's my issue with that. This is just the start of the season. I've talked to you about the Lakers many a times when, during the preseason. I told you that they're old. Yes, they look fresh to start the season. Once we get around Christmas, if they still look the same way, if LeBron is still playing the same way, if things are still in rhythm like they are, then you'll hear me say that the Lakers are probably the best team in the NBA if they're still rolling that way. But they also play the Clippers on Christmas. I think they're going to get rolled again by the Clippers on Christmas, and it's going to be amazing. But even with that being said, I think that the Lakers still have a little bit of time left. I'm still going to wait on Rondo to come back. I still think that Kuzma has to be effective. I don't know what kind of game he has to play because I've been watching the Lakers really trying to figure out like on 2K kind of what their team identity is. And I the guess defense. and you could say defense right now, but I have to see it last throughout the rest of the season. I think that this team is going to be much more of a pick and roll heavy type of team. I and that. I think in the playoffs, it's going to be a lot harder to be able to run those same That's level of pick and cool. rolls in the playoffs so once cool, teams huh? are able to actually scheme for you game why for you game cool, but I do think that the Lakers look very very good I still think that they can probably get a top four top three seed especially the way that they're playing if AD stays healthy I'm worried every time I see that man hit Bro, the ground I'll be like get up I'll be AD. like AD get, get up, up get up, AD, get up. Get I'm up. worried about him his streets had some shoulder injuries Avery Bradley got um, kicked in the knee last night but I think they'll be alright I'm not worried about him I think that what we'll really see coming up is they, yeah they won five games in a row but how will they react the first time they lose two games in a row or three games in a row? Will they come back and then like be able to put forth the effort? Will you know how will they react after they get you know get punched in the mouth? They've also played a fairly easy schedule. It's starting to pick up now with the Spurs coming, but I mean they had the Clippers and then it was kind of a bunch of like vanilla yeah. teams after that. We're really gonna see what this Lakers two team things, is. Man. Two things. Two things. I I think the Mavericks game was big for them. Yeah. Uh, I think just big. I, that, that's a championship playoff type yeah. win. Those are games in the playoffs that you will have. That you might have in the game for that you still need to pull out yeah. at home when well, not not at home on the road in somebody else's arena, and Dwight Howard man like Dwight, we talking about six man of the year he's up there right now. Now he probably won't get as many votes as, as other people because excuse me what mm-hmm. what he does is def- is, mm-hmm. is defense and people don't always you know look at defense the yeah. same way but Dwight's been incredible like Dwight every game he gets in he changes. Yeah. And I think people forget we talking about the four time defensive player of the year. Yeah, like if we talking about like you said top ten center ever probably right. That's coming off your bench. Now, granted, Dwight old, but Dwight really ain't played that much basketball in recent years. Yeah, it ain't like he playing in, in into you know May every year. He yeah. out like by March his season over really for the most part. Yeah. So I think he's motivated. I think he's humble. Um, I think he's the way he's endearing himself to the fans. Kobe and Shaq have both said nice things about him in the nah, past. Nah, he week. not, nah, bro. Like, bro, Dwight, like, is no way you cut on Lakers game, and even like plus, like, I don't always look at plus minus. 
but he plus plus yeah. something every game. He be one of the highest ones on the team. Like it's just having Dwight back there is like, oh, that's Dwight at the rim. I can't just do what I want to do. And I think to me, this shows off like Dwight is a smart defender. Cause we all knew he was mad athletic. You and you don't win defensive player of the year without being a smart defender. I agree, but I think that I can't agree with that. You don't win it multiple, numerous times without being a smart. I agree, but the fact that he was such a freak athlete, I thought people, even me, like myself included, you would overlook how smart he is. But now because the same athleticism isn't there, you see more how smart how smart he really really is defensively. I guess I think he's a very incredibly smart defender, and I think that that that's that's huge for the Lakers. Oh, yes. And I think he's been huge and one and been yeah, has been giving them the best minutes at the center position by far. Yeah, but I mean you've also always been the person that tells me that you think I had Dwight Howard rated too high. So I, I've always I've always felt all these things about Dwight Howard. I've told I've told you numerous times that he's better than Patrick Ewing. So you telling me all of this is like it's cool, but like I already knew this. So it's not me saying like you're wrong. It's just saying I've been saying this. Welcome. Welcome to the Dwight Howard uh 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 you know bus. Hop on the banana boat. Uh, pause. Um, anyways, moving on. Let's talk best player in the NBA right now. I currently think that we have ten candidates for the best player in the NBA I'm gonna currently go to the right I'm gonna now. Let you get off your. Uh, go ahead. No, 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 no. It's not even about that. No, 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 no. It's not even about that. I know what's coming. Oh, know the, oh you know what's coming. Oh, oh. I know the Luka You can love use this coming. one right here. You can. I know the Luka love you can is use coming. this one right here to the right. I know the Luka Love is coming. Um, but right now, I think we have ten potential candidates for. Um, you know, player of the year in the NBA. Number one, I think we have Carl Anthony Towns. I think he has been playing much, much better than we ever thought. I think that the, you know, the, the Minnesota Timberwolves being four and one right now is quite frankly amazing, and it's because of him. Number two, I think Kawhi Leonard is arguably, um, you know, the best player in the NBA because he has he's just been lighting it up this season. I've seen the man in person twice um, already this season. He looks like a dynamo. Um, Kawhi Leonard has put up, you know, a 35 PER, 22 field goal attempts a game, but he's still giving you 29 points. He's shooting 47.4% from the field goal range. Giannis is up there. He's been playing well, but he hasn't taken that jump that I've been looking for him to take. Although Giannis this year is currently averaging 26.7 points per game. He's giving you 13.8 rebounds. I just want him to be better. Um, the next player that I'm going to say is actually going to be, um, I'm going to say Kyrie. I think Kyrie has been playing amazing this season. He's giving you 29.9, 29 points, uh, I'm sorry, 30.5 points per game. I think Dame Lillard has been playing well, 29.8 points per game. AD has been playing well. He's had a 40 and 20 game, 28 points per game. Um, as well as giving you 11.3 rebounds per game. I think Bradley Bill has been arguably a top 10 player in the NBA this year. I also think Luka Doncic this year has been arguably the best player in the NBA this year. 32.5 PER, 26.7 points per game. Uh, he's giving you no, because of defense. He's giving you 10.3 rebounds per game, 9.5 assists per game, 1.5 steals per game. Uh, and he's also shooting from the field, let's see, 46.4%. He's shooting 35% from the three and he's shooting uh, 80% from the free throw line. He's also 20 years old. Luka Doncic is playing very, very well. And LeBron James is my last candidate for best player in the NBA so far throughout the season. I think he's been playing very, very well. He's taken a step back offensively in terms of scoring. He's still been shooting terribly from, um, I mean, from the floor, but he's still giving you 25.5 points per game and 11.2 assists per game, eight rebounds per game. Who's your best player in the NBA? Kawhi Leonard. No, okay. I'm stopping there. Kawhi Leonard. Why? I, I think that I had him ranked as the best player when I did my player rankings. Yeah. I, I said AD. I think AD is really the best player yeah. in the game, but he has to prove it. Yeah. I think Kawhi on the on a nightly basis going out there. It, I mean, started off he was giving you the eight assists, nine assists, tail back a little bit, but he's still like I think thirty points every single game. Yeah. Still playing all world yeah. defense. Kawhi Leonard, and again he's doing all this missing a whole Paul George. Everybody else got their co star with him. Yeah. Braun got his co-star with him. AD got his co-star with him. Porzingis has his co-star with him. Everybody got their co-star with him. Don't say I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, not, not stop being Luka, disrespectful. Luca, stop Luka being disrespectful. Luca, Luca has his co-star with him. Stop being um, disrespectful. I meant, I meant Luca. Don't disrespect the guy. Luca has his co-star with him. Joel Embiid has his co-star with him. Giannis don't really have a co-star, but they Middleton. got the co-star that they mm -hmm. paid to be his co-star with him. They put Middleton they, in, the, in the passenger seat. They put, they put Middleton in the passenger seat. You know, he riding with him. But everybody else has their co-star with him. Kawhi Leonard is doing all this on a solo mission right now. And when it comes to co-stars. So, he got a co he got two co-stars with him. Lou Will and Montrez. Lou Will's averaging 20-something. Montrez's averaging 19 That's AD. Hmm? That's AD. 
The, the Lakers got two guys averaging over 19 right now. They got Anthony Davis. So what? They got Anthony Davis. Dude. So what? I feel Lou you. Will and Montrez, I get your uh, point. Lou Will and Montrez Hero together are better than AD. Like, as one, if you combine them as, like, all together, they're better than AD. That's the name of the episode. Lou Will and Montrez Hero together are better than AD. They are. That's the name of the episode. That's they the name are. Of the episode. They, got they got you to the playoffs. That's the episode that. They got you to the playoffs. All right, G. So all right, what? G. <laughs> okay, I'm going to combine. Yeah, AD on that Clippers team, they might go to the finals when, last year. Instead of, instead of Lou Will and Montrez? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, actually, what? yeah. G. Finals, no, but second round. G. What? They, they got the AC. With who on the team? What? Who on who? Who you keeping on the team? Keep everybody. Because remember, we got to remember they had the Nilo, Tobias. Look, look, we can, we can, we can take off Trez and Lou, put them on a different team. We bring in um AD, and then off the bench, who could you put in off the bench that could maybe replace what the man gave you? You still have Tobias and Danilo technically. Yeah, if you yeah, don't make the trades, nah, that's what would, I'm saying. Nah, you wouldn't make the trade. Hmm? You would, you wouldn't make the trade. You, you would, need, yeah. Okay. So you got Gallinari, yes, G. Your ads, G, G, ads center. Ad don't want to play center. Okay, put it. Okay, but no, but and but, also Zoo ain't there if if the fall if. Yeah, I know he still would be, but I uh, know he wouldn't. Be. But but ad said he's warming up to playing center, and he does play center at some points in the game, just not the whole game. G, yes. Lou Will and Montrez combined are better than AD. I'm sorry. I, look, man. Shout out G. Lou Will. Shout out Trez. I cannot subscribe to that land of thinking. I cannot subscribe <laughs> to that land of thinking. They are. I cannot subscribe to that land of thinking. They are. I cannot subscribe Lou to it. Trez. I can't subscribe to it. Lou I can't Will subscribe to it. Combined are better I can't than subscribe. AD. Offensively, you may have a point. Defensively, you do not. Yes, I do. Defensively, no. G. I mean, no. Defensively, no. Now, look. I do want to say this. Lou Will is a better defender than what I thought he was. He tries. He tries. Yeah. That's what I know about this year about Lou Will. Lou Will tries on defense. He will get in there and try to get the steal. He tries. No, but Lou no, Will and Trez are combined better than 80. I cannot subscribe to this land of thinking. What you mean? I, I can't that's do like it. That's like 30 some points. That's like 30 some points, 15 rebounds, that's and like a game for AD. G. And like 80 assists. That's a fucking game that's for like AD. That's a season. G. It's for a season. This meant Anthony Davis. It's for a season. I'm gonna read you what this meant. AD's only averaging 25 and 11 G. right now, or G. something like that. G. 25 and 11. This meant Anthony Davis last year in a down year. I don't in a, look, 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 look. In look, look up Lou in a down year. 25.9, 12 rebounds, four assists, a steal, and two blocks. Lou will average 22 and, 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 and seven last year. What you mean? Trez gave you 16 last year and like nine rebounds. A game. How many blocks? A game. How many steals? So what? No, G. Yes. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yes. I, I can't. I, I can't. Lou Will, uh, yeah, in, 26 really so Will in 26 minutes. You you talking about what AD did in 26 minutes. Lou Will, in 26 minutes, gave you 20 points, 5.4 assists, and 3 rebounds. I can't scratch that land and think yes, it, bro. I can't. I can't scratch that land and think it, bro. I can't scratch that land and think it, dog. You wild as hell. You wild as hell. You wild as hell. I can't do it, dog. 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 I can't do it, bro. Trez last year gave you 16.6, yeah, 6.5 rebounds. Yeah, no, yeah, I can't scratch that line of thinking, bro. What you mean? That's 36 points I per game. That That's 36 thinking, points dude. per game, 9 rebounds, and 7 See, assists. AD is out rebounding both of them, and then they got as many assists, got 1.6 steals, and 2.4 blocks, and that was a down year last year. A down year. He wasn't playing the second half of the season, G. Stop this. Stop, G. Stop. Stop, bro. Stop. AD can realistically give you 50, 25, 2 and 2 himself. <laughs> Not a night? He can do it, though. Not a night? Not a night, no. Okay, then. Trez okay, and Luke look. can give you a night. A night. Can okay, look. Can combine night. to give okay, you look. 50. A night. They can't give you combine to give you 50. 20 boards. Trez and Luke? 20 boards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all yeah, right. Okay. Trez can give you like 15, right. Luke gonna give you like five. All right, when, when you see Montrez get you 15 rebounds. He can give you 15 rebounds. When have I you guarantee seen you he had get a, a, a 15 rebound game How last many? year. How many? AD the, probably had mad of him. Trez was only playing 28 minutes a game. I mean, 26 minutes a game. AD gonna be playing starter minutes to do that. I'm just I saying, mean, bro. I I'm mean, just saying. I I'm mean, just saying. Anyways, I mean, my guy. Shout out Trez. Shout out I Luka, think, Luka, I, I think before the end of the season, Luka Doncic is gonna be the best player in the NBA. I think Luka Doncic is the second best player in the NBA right now. All right, man. The second best player in the NBA right now. He's only 20. It, hey, is LeBron better than Luka Doncic right now? Yes. 20 year old LeBron better than Luka Doncic? 20 year old? Yes. No, he's not. Yes. No, he's not. 20 year old. Luka's player. averaging damn near a triple double. He's yes. .5 assists away from averaging a triple double, shooting 80% from the free throw line. 
Twenty old forty six percent from the field. Thirty five percent from the three. Twenty year old LeBron James was twenty seven seven and seven and two. That's not twenty nine eleven and nine point five. Twenty year old LeBron James. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's lying. If you put twenty year old LeBron James with points, he's not doing that. Yes, he would. He's giving you twenty nine eleven and ten. Yes. No. Twenty year old LeBron James in the NBA right now. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Yes. You're lying to me. I'm not lying. Luka Doncic is better than twenty year old LeBron James, and Luka Doncic is better than. 34-year-old no, LeBron not. James. No, Luka Doncic is better than LeBron James no, any year not. other than the Miami years. No, he's not, G. Yes, no, he is. Not. No, he's not. You're wild. Luka Doncic on the 2007 Cavs beat the Spurs. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Luka Doncic on that Cavs team is beat the Spurs. This is why I'm telling you he's going to beat the Spurs. Number one, he's going to beat the Spurs because he can score. Number two... Is he? Are you locked out? Good. Let him be locked out. Number two, he's gonna beat them. Number number two, he's gonna. <laughs> Can't you get the word? Oh no, he's locked out. Let me go. Let this man in. <laughs> Can no lock. I don't need to come back in. That's why the no lock. I don't need to come back in. You gotta stop with the Luke Love, G. No, you gotta stop with the Luke Love. Look, stop, look, stop, look, bro. Look, stop. Look, he's a better stop. shooter than LeBron. That's it. That's he's where it's He's a better stops. passer no, than LeBron not. was at that age. No, he's not. He's also a better rebounder. No, he's You're not, not gonna lose no, like that. Not, yes, bro. No, he's LeBron not. LeBron was getting locked up because he couldn't shoot. Okay. Luke is gonna be pulling it. Luke is taking like eight, nine threes a game. And he's gonna lose. What? And they still no, they're not lose. losing. They're not they losing. Still gonna lose. Luka Doncic would beat would have beat the Spurs in no, 2007. He no, yes, he would have. No, he yes, he would have. No, he would have. No, he would. Actually, and also 24 year old Luka Doncic would have beat the Spurs because that's how old LeBron was. 24. No, Luka only 20 right now and doing this. LeBron wasn't 24. LeBron was 22 then. So what? Luka Doncic 22 years old can't do that? No. Yes, he could have. He's not. LeBron could because he couldn't shoot. And he, no. his game wasn't that good all around. Luka is here. He is good all around. He is ready. Luka Doncic, second best player in the NBA currently right now. Remember I said it. Book it. Mark it down. All-star game. Him, D. Rose, will be there playing opposite each other. Period. No, but I do like Luka. I think Luka has a very bright future ahead of him. He's only, he's only 20 years old. He looks to be a future MVP candidate. But I will not subscribe. He's MVP candidate right now. But I will not Luka subscribe. Luka Doncic never lost. But but Larry Markin and lost. Has a lot. Unfortunately, a lot but recently. Luka Doncic never lost. But Luka Doncic. Luka. But I will not subscribe to any. Luka. Luca, I'm not subscribing to you. You ain't got to subscribe to it. Anyways, I Miami like Heat. Off to, uh, thank you, I appreciate. It. Anyways, Miami Heat off to a hot start. Okay, thank you. I they are it, currently man. the second best team in the NBA right now in terms of record wise. Kendrick Nunn, Simeon Prada, about that. looks looks to be. Can you a just beast. say I told you? You did. I give you credit. That's fine. Yeah, I give you credit. I told you. I give you credit. Where's due? You did. You told me that they had enough playmakers. I didn't think that they did. I told you. I told you. They, they look might very, very games. good. Kendrick Nunn looks amazing. Um, Kendrick Nunn actually might win Most Improved Player. Um, he might win Rookie of the Year. Is he a rookie? Yeah, because the G League is not the NBA. He played in the G League last year. He didn't get no NBA games. I don't think so. Okay. I think I think he got signed by Golden State at the end of the season, but I don't think he played. I, th- I think he was okay. just on the roster. Okay. Well, still, I mean, he might win Rookie of the Year. Zion's not here. Uh, I mean, I don't think Zion gonna be here. RJ Barrett is is RJ Barrett. He um, who will no? RJ has been good. Don't do that. He's been decent. They, He's been good. They, don't they do still that. They still losing though. It's the fucking Knicks. Who on the Knicks? G. Yeah, they losing. It's the Knicks. G. I don't think they really trying too hard to win a whole lot of basketball yeah, games. I guess they trying to build. Anyways, Miami Heat. What are your thoughts on the Heat? How do you feel about this team as a whole? Jimmy Butler hasn't looked as dynamic as he's looked in previous years no, I to start. But, 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 great. but I think he's trying to fit in. Because I think that no one saw this team as well as him missing the first three games and being as good as they are in the first three games. So I think his, his energy is, all right, I know I'm a star, but, like, these guys have been cooking. How can I come in, let everybody do what they do while I still play my game? Because I even think that you'll start to see a lot more up-and-down performances from Kendrick Nunn because Jimmy will be there to hold the ball a little bit more. I also think Tyler Harrell will be a little bit less effective. But I still like this team as a whole. This team is a team that... I honestly now think it has an outside chance. If I was a betting man, I would put like a, a small wager on it, like an outside chance and hopefully a payoff to win the East. 
No, they really can't. I, I, really I, I think can. they can beat any team besides maybe the Sixers. And with the Sixers in the series, like it's also why you don't give Chris Paul. Can you apologize to the people for that? Yes, like, but yes, but again, uh, I said you analyze what where your team is around the All Star break. It's not something you do off top. You analyze where your team is. You feel like if you you know a little bit above five hundred, you struggling. You want to make a move, try to push you over the hump. Cool. If you're doing good, don't do it. I didn't say just outright trade for him. I said it's not a move you make right now. You yeah. you got to analyze what your team is doing around the break time. Yeah, but. For the Heat, I just love watching this team play basketball. Like they got some dogs over there, and it's very reminiscent of like those those like '90s Heat teams yeah. to me. I think I think that Pat Riley finally has some of his guys. Yeah. I think Jimmy Butler is another one of his guys. Yeah. You know when you look at Alonzo Mourning, you look at D Way, you look at Tim. Well, not really Tim Hardaway, but you yeah. look at Alonzo Mourning, you look at D Way, you Donis. Like Jimmy kind of fits in that mold yeah. to me. Um, they have eight people in double figures right now. Yeah. Eight. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last, but I think it'll be like six. Yeah. Yeah, even I, love I mean, Bam, even like, Bam Bam is averaging five point two assists. That's not, not, not like it they, might like, be around four. Like, they don't they, they don't yeah. really have a they have a traditional point guard that's in drive there, but he's coming off the bench. But they share the ball by committee, which is which is what I like about them. Like Jimmy's averaging now, I'm just gonna stay at seven. But I think Jimmy, even though he hasn't been scoring too much, he's having yeah. the best all around year of his career so far. Yeah, by far so yeah. far. Assists and rebound. Assists and rebound. It all like to he's you. he's. Like, I, I love what Jimmy's doing. I think Jimmy's coming in, fitting in, and doing exactly what you want Jimmy Butler to do. I don't think Jimmy Butler is some, like, superstar-type guy. If you ask him to give out the if, – if you ask Jimmy to score 25 points, you lose him. Yeah. But I think Jimmy going out there give you about 18 At to 20. No, listen. 22 to 23. Listen, 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 listen. I, I think Jimmy going out there about give, give you about 18 to 21, but can keep the, you know, seven rebounds and the, uh, the you know, five assists. And playing all world defense because right now he's having their four steals. Now that's because that Hawks game he got all them steals. So if he goes down to about like two point two steals, that's great for Jimmy. Because again, on like on this team you don't need you you don't need him to do too 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 much. Yeah. You got Hero. I like Hero. I think Hero in two three years will be the best scorer on this team. I think he'll be the primary option. But Jimmy will be a leader, deep like the primary defensive guy on the wing. Maybe one of the best playmakers, things like that. But as far as getting a bucket. I think Hero would be the guy you lean on to get a bucket. Same with Drogic. You lean on Drogic to get up. So they got a lot of guys to get buckets. So Jimmy just need to come in and do everything else. Be the best all-around player. And again, mm-hmm. I really, really like this basketball team. Uh, shout out Eric Spostra. He's got them playing amazingly right now. They are extremely well coached. And again, I, I just really, really like this basketball team. They are, they are a very fun team to watch compete. Yeah, they are. I'm not upset at that. But the, my only concern for this Heat team... Um, and also with Jimmy Butler's, their free throw shooting. They're bottom 10 in the league in free throw shooting. They're shooting 72.7% from the, uh, you know, from the free throw line right now. Jimmy Butler's not shooting well from the free throw line. Neither is Justice Winslow. Neither is James Johnson. Neither is Goran Dragic. Neither is um, uh, Bam Adebayo. Neither is Myers Leonard. Um, so they're going to need to step up and make their free throws because as they, as teams start to game plan for guys like Kendrick Nunn and um, you know and Tyler Harrow. Free throws are gonna matter in those instances, and and them missing free throws is something that it can't be an Achilles heel for a team. For me, the Lakers last year lost a lot of games that were close because they couldn't make free throws. Here's this year, I feel like they've corrected a lot of those mistakes. That's why I disagree with you. Harrow is at eighty one percent. Olenek is at eighty seven. Harrow's a rookie. Listen, Kelly listen. Olenek doesn't play that much. Listen, that's not true. He plays nineteen minutes a game. Come on, bro. Listen, you, you don't have him. I'm talking about crunch time. Yeah, sub that man. When it ma- he's not going to play in a playoff game when it matters, bro. I disagree bro. with that. You're wild as hell. Kelly Olenek is at eighty-seven percent. Hero is at eighty-one percent. Dragic is at seventy-one, but I think he'll more go up to about seventy-five. Bam being sixty-six percent for a center is not bad. He's a power forward, but I feel you. Power forward, he's center. playing power forward this year. Playing power forward, that's still not terrible. That's not terrible. It's not good. Myers, Myers also, I think Myers would also improve. Also, Myers had to read Myers has taken 0.8 free throws a game, so he's not really getting to the line. Bam is making five out of eight free throws. That's decent for a guy his size. Jimmy Butler, I think it will go up to about 75%. I'm not really concerned about them with the free throw shooting. And again, if we need a free throw, get the ball to Olenek. Olenek shooting 80, not, 80, 87 I mean, Kelly Olenek is not the guy I'm looking to give the my late game free throws to. That's Jimmy, a, Hero, that's an issue. Dragic, I, I need like, them. All like, I'm not I saying think, it's Achilles heel yet, but I'm saying to watch out for it. Teams no, that no, are no, teams no, that no, are no, in no, the no, bottom no. half of shooting free throws in the NBA 
always have a tough time when it comes no, down to it, game. including the Milwaukee Bucks, who are 29th in the NBA right now, shooting 68.8% from the free throw line. Even, even it was a game with the uh, Heat and Bucks, in which I think the Heat missed like three or four straight free throws down the stretch. Yeah. And now, granted, Bam made a great play on Blesso to block his shot, but you don't, you're not even in that situation if you make those free throws. So that's a fair concern. I just think that they'll be okay in the long run. But can we talk about the Bucks? Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead. I was gonna talk about, about the. I was gonna say let's talk about the Rockets, but let's go ahead. What do you think about the Bucks? Um. I don't think anything about the Bucks. I talked about Giannis as potentially being um. You know, one of my top players in the NBA. Um. In terms of top ten, because numbers wise, he's there. But I just think that this is a. This is a. This is a, a part of a, the Coach Bud hangover um, that I feel like happens with everyone in his teams when they do well and then teams figure out how to scheme against him offensively. Um, and how to attack them a little bit. I think Giannis's numbers are a little bit better, but he hasn't stretched his game out anywhere. I think Middleton has always been supremely overrated to me, never been as good as I thought that he was, um, although I did think that he was going to show out in the playoffs last drunk. year. No, no, I thought he would show out in the playoffs last year because I knew teams were going to double and triple team Giannis. So naturally oh, those shots would go to Middleton, but Middleton just wasn't that good. He's just not that good. And and and, and remember I mean, if you remember, if anybody remembers this, I've called him Chris Mid Ulton for a long time cuz he's mid sometimes. Um but that kind of is what it is, but I just think that the Bucks are in a situation where they either play very, very well this year, or, or if they come out and they're like a, you know, fourth to sixth seed this year, Giannis is gonna say he wants to be out of there, and I and everybody's talking about the Warriors. I'm not looking at the Warriors. I think you need to look at, you know, you need to look for for more of um, teams with a family style organization. The Raptors. I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the Raptors. I don't. Know, I hate that everybody keeps saying the Raptors. Why would he want to go play for the Raptors? Is it? Well, I think. No. If I'm him, I'm I'm, I'm looking at a team like the Heat actually. I'm looking at a team like the Miami Heat as being a potential destination. That would fit Giannis too. That would fit my really, really like a very hard working yeah, organization. Giannis, Giannis, Giannis and Jimmy. I, uh, I think I think guys like Nunn, if they if he's gonna play that way, if I'm Milwaukee, we can get something for him, but kinda like the Bucks did for it. And don't Miami have a couple picks? No. Uh, really. No? Okay, because I remember really. us talking about the Chris Paul Trey. Um, um, but I, I just don't see him as being a destination for Toronto. I think many people talk about moving to another city and how tough it is on them trying to get acclimated to that. I don't see that. I even wouldn't, I even wouldn't be surprised if I saw him somewhere down in Texas or if he wound up in one of the Eastern Conference teams. I wouldn't even be surprised if he wound up in Boston. Because if, 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 if I'm, I'm Danny, you, if I'm, I'm, I'm Danny I'm a, Ainge and I'm not I'm too happy on Tatum, you, you know what I mean? I'm going throw a team at you. I wouldn't be shocked at OKC either. Reason being is, here's why, here's why, I'm, here's why, I'm, here's I'm, why. OKC has a, a a a ton of draft picks. Why would he want to play in Oklahoma City? Though? You said a family style organization. No, you no, played in Milwaukee. Why would I want to go and play in Oklahoma City? It, look, if it's a no. trade, look, 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 look. If it's if it's a trade, you can't really dictate that. If it's a trade, you do good though. If it's a you trade, shit. look. If it's a trade, but but I. I do agree with you. Um, You're wild. I think when it comes to the Bucks, I think that they're going to be a top four seed. When it comes to what they're going to do in the playoffs, I think the loss of Brogdon like really, really hurt them. Man. And I, 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 I think they picked wrong. I think they picked between Brogdon and Blesso. I think they just picked wrong. Yeah, I don't know why. They, I don't. Anybody with eyes can see you don't because, pick Eric Blesso. But, but Blesso is cheaper, right? And think about Brogdon. Like they picked him in the second round. So when you pick second round picks and they play their way out their contract. Their contract is two years, so after two years you got to re-up, and that's yeah. what happened to Broden. So it's like you didn't expect Broden to come out and do what he did, and now he's worth a lot of money. And you did you play in Milwaukee? You just actually don't have the capital to do that, bro. Yeah. You got Giannis on the max, and you got Middleton on the max, like a max max. We don't have the capital to be able to retain all of them. We just don't. Yeah. We're in Milwaukee, so it's unfortunate. But I think they picked wrong, and I think that the Bucks took a step back. I really do. Like, I don't see them in the conference finals, depending on matchup. They can get there maybe depending on matchup, but I just don't see them. I, I think the personally, I think the Heat and the Sixers are the two best teams in the East. I really do. I think Bucks are, like, the third best team. And I they're think, going to struggle. And the Celtics are the third best team. That's fair. And I think they will struggle with them. I think they will struggle with them. I just don't think – and I, even the Giannis have just seven assists, but that's because Broden isn't there. Like, yeah, his numbers in that category went up because he has to hold the ball more. I think that – the Bucks would benefit from have, from having a point guard. They don't really have a point guard on the roster. Like Bledsoe is and cool. You got rid of him. Like Bledsoe is cool, but he's not a yeah. he's not setting the table for nobody, bro. 
and he's 30 years old. Yeah. Like, Blesso has probably played the best basketball that, that, that he's going to play. Yeah. And and I, I just think it's unfortunate, but I think that, yes, I think the Bucks are on the clock to losing Giannis. Unless he just really, really loves Milwaukee, which I don't think is that that deep. I think they're on the clock to, to um, losing Giannis. I really do. All right. Well, moving on to Houston Rockets, are they in trouble? They've started off sluggishly. One of the worst defensive teams in the NBA, giving up a ton of points. They gave up to 150 plus to the Washington Wizards. They gave up 100, I believe, and uh, 20 plus to the Nets. Um, what are your thoughts on this Houston Rockets team? You've been a guy that told me that this is going to be the best backcourt of all time. I don't think that we've been seeing it. Obviously, James Harden oh, no, hasn't the, been oh, oh, no, James no. Harden hasn't been shooting that well. Um, but defensively, this team is terrible. And the backcourt, they've played well, but oh, they have, but good. but it's got to be when it's no, 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 winning no, no, no. time. The backcourt, the backcourt offensively is, is is amazing. Like think about people talk about Harden shooting bad, bro. He's shooting thirty seven percent from the field, twenty one percent from three. And he's averaging thirty five. If he shoots his normal percentages, he might average forty this year. He's not gonna average. Listen, look, look, like like look, look at me, bro. Even his free throw attempts, he's getting to the line fifteen times a night, shooting ninety five percent from the line. He's getting to the line fifteen times and he's not making shots. He's only making two point eight three. But listen, but, but, yeah, but, like, but, like, like, bro, listen. What happens when the, you, the game with the game he had when he was hot? He scored fifty nine easily. If the man starts making shots, he's going to average forty points. These free throws. The reason why these free throws to me are so amazing. He's not shooting the ball well. So that's why they're not. But, but, look, but, look, but, look, but listen, what happens? Neil's talking to me about true shooting now. Ch- listen, now, Pat is a true shooting no, percentage look, Listen, what happens when he's doing those step backs and he's made a couple? And now you're jumping out at them because you don't want him to make that shot. You're still giving up 120 points. Now, look, real, real quick. Now, look, I'm going to get to it. The offense, I have no problems with. The thing about Russ on this team is I think Russ even draws. Like, when he cuts to the – that's why I think P.J. Tucker is probably having one of his better. He's shooting up well, from three right now, 50%. I think that might damn it continue because they're all, for the most part, like corner threes. And when Russ penetrates, you have to collapse, meaning P.J. is wide open in the corner like he's never been wide open before. Defensively, it's disgusting. They are currently one of the worst defensive teams I've ever watched in my life. I think one of it is because they're not hitting shots. Eric Gordon has been god-awful. Like, we, you know, we talk about Harden. Eric Gordon is shooting 27% and 21%. The Rockets are giving up 127 points per game to their opponents. Here's why, because they keep missing shots. So if you like if you have that many possessions in the game, like they take fifty threes, meaning they have a whole lot of possessions. So if you're missing them shots, that means that other team gets a mad possessions. So there's just more opportunity for them for, the, for them to score points, especially when you're not taking the ball out the net. So I think if they were to were to hit shots, their defense would improve. But I think a lot of their defense is attention to detail and effort. They have to be better defensively. I also wonder if they still have the same defensive coordinator from last year. I really wonder. Like no, remember Russ is there. No, 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 but no, but even Russ, like Russ, there are some times when he plays decent defensively. For one, he can rebound, like rebound on rebound, which is one thing that they didn't have. Even mm-hmm. last year, they were a bad rebounding team. That's why the Warriors really beat him up in that series was because they would just out-rebound him. They would have like 13 offensive rebounds, and the Rockets would have like eight, and it's like that, those five offensive rebounds switch the game. So I think Russ really, really helps his team in many ways. He does. Like, and in, in, I fully understand why they switched Chris Paul out. But the thing I wonder about Chris Paul is is Chris Paul's defensive mind. Did, is 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 him is is them missing that hurting them? Is it just the fact that they're missing shots? Is it, is it, is it just the fact that, that they're missing shots so they can't get their defense set? Or is their same defensive coordinator that, that they had last year, who remember they brought him back in the middle of the season and and the defense improved, is he gone again? I don't know. But defensively is my thing with this is is is, is 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 my issue with this team. Like they have the third best offensive rate in the league right now. Their defense is 29th out of 30. So if they can get their defense just to at least 15th, get it to, get it to 15th, bro. Just 15th, bro. 15th. This team is a first round exit waiting to happen in this Western Conference. They're gonna wind up being the sixth seed. They're gonna play the Lakers in the first round, and the Lakers are gonna dog walk them, and then that will be the end of the Houston Rockets dynasty because. I don't think that I think they're gonna completely reconstruct this team, and I I wouldn't even be surprised if if James Harden is gone. Like, I don't think so. Not, like he's a guy where I kind of feel like you've given him what six years now, seven years. Yeah, 
at, at, at this point, if, if we're going to keep getting and not getting over the hump, like, yeah, you're the most dynamic player in the NBA, but you're not at this time, it might just be time to like make I don't think changes. so. I think what you see is Dan Tony because Dan Tony has no contract for this year. So I think like Dan Tony is the one really on the hot seat with more than anybody else. I think Dan Tony is the guy because I think now Harden is secretly too. I really do. I don't think the, Harden is. I, I think it's the Dan, rumors of their owner being a little cheap. I, Dan, Dan, Dan Tony. No, Harden too. Harden is going to get paid a lot of money. Yeah, but I think Harden would be fine. Reason being is because the players will always get paid, but because if the players aren't there, you can't put people in the seats. Harden at this point in time, second best rocket ever, arguably. Obviously, Hakeem, you have Moses Malone. But as far as what Harden has been to that franchise, arguably second best rocket ever. I don't think Harden goes anywhere for a second. Dan Tony and his system might be gone, especially Daryl Morey with, with what he you know said about China. He might get it's, you could fire Daryl Morey. Like that's you. you. Daryl Morey's not playing basketball. He he's not, but he's part of this analytics team who wanted to bring in Dan Tony and wanted to try this style out. Like that's him. He tried that. So I think it may be a system which like the staffing is gone and we see a new function with the Rockets. Also, what you see a lot of is I don't think they're used to how fast Russell Westbrook plays. Yeah, he plays. And fast. they do have a lot of older guys. Like if you look at this team, look at the ages. Tyson. 37, Thabo, 35, PJ, 34, EG, 31, Ryan Anderson, 31. Yeah, when I told you this Harden, about the Lakers, you told me I was tripping. But the thing about it, the Lakers don't play fast. The Lakers play slow. So it's like, it's fine. As far as the Rockets, they kind of like, Russ wants to play fast. I think Harden plays at the speed he plays at, which is fine, especially in the playoffs because yeah. half court game slows down. But Russ plays fast. So you got to get guys to run, to, to also run with Russ. Mm-hmm. But in all in all, I think they'll be okay eventually. I think they'll be fine. As far as how far they go in the playoffs, I don't know. But I think as far as this season goes, I think they'll be fine. I think they'll get this together. I think they'll figure it out. All right, cool. So, moving on, what NBA rookies have impressed you? Let's make this super quick. Tyler, Tyler Hero. Yeah, he's, he's for me been the most impressive. P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington. I didn't think that he would come good. in and do what he's yeah, doing. Nah, he's, all he's, time. he's played really well. Yeah, he's, he's had 20 multiple games. P.J. Washington. playing very, very well. Um... Probably the man. Kendrick Nunn has been playing very, very Kendrick well. Kendrick Nunn, yeah, Ja. Yeah, Ja Moran, ja Moran. has been but, playing. But, yeah, but he see, to see, see Ja, I like expected Ja to do what Ja's doing. So I'm going for guys who play well that like I didn't necessarily I'm not really that impressed respect. with Ja, but I thought he had a good game versus uh, ja, Kyrie. Um, who else is a rookie that I'm, that I'm, that I'm impressed by? That's, I, I think that those are probably my main. My main RJ's been, but I haven't watched much Knicks, much Knicks basketball. Who's watching I mean, much Knicks basketball? Yeah, I haven't watched much. So I'm not even gonna like say that man name because I ain't really watched him that much. Mm-hmm. But if I had to put, I'd say Ja, Kendrick Nunn, PJ Washington, Tyler Hero. Yeah, I agree with all of those. Um, and I think in terms of you know most improved players, Devontae Graham has been one of those guys that I've seen a I lot think, of improvement. Yeah, but I think Siakam might good. get it again. Like Siakam has an argument to get it again. I don't think Siakam's gonna get it again. He's not, They're but he get has it a legit. Somebody else. He was not. an all star last year. No, he wasn't. He wasn't? No. He wasn't. See, I can imagine legit, like, bro, that man went from 16 points to 26. <laughs> like, he has an argument I to don't get think it again. That's stay. I think he's going to drop down to 22, but I feel you. I mean, still, that's a four point, five point, seven point increase. Yeah, but you lose a whole main guy. But still. That's what you would think Scottie Pippen would have did, but Scottie Pippen wasn't that good. Stop it. Exactly. Stop it. I'm not saying Siakam's better than Scottie Pippen. Stop I'm it. saying. Stop. But I'm just I told you Siakam gives me 1990 Scotty 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 Pippen vibes though. Like last year he gave me that. Half back dive crew. But anyways, final topic of the night, the Chicago Bulls are the worst suck. Play some of the Chicago Bulls play some of the worst basketball. Not granted. When I was back in Chicago, I went to a Bulls game, Bulls Pistons. It was honestly top three worst basketball games I've ever been to in my life. Really? The basketball on the court was terrible, G. It was terrible basketball to watch. Chris Dunn, Euro step into a defender. Yeah, I remember you, you text us a that. Defender. You text us that. In two, I've never seen somebody Euro step into a defender. Yeah. They don't run any offense. Yeah. They just pass the ball around the perimeter until somebody does something with it. Mm-hmm. Literally. It's not actual, like, it's all accidental basketball. Yeah. It's like, yeah, somebody just made a great play. Like, woo. Like, woo. You made a great play. Like, set out shoot, bro. Now, that's on boiling. Defensively, it's on the players on the court. Boylan is a terrible coach. Look, I look, I look, look, look. Boylan is a terrible. I don't think Boylan is the best. How coach. How do the Bulls keep picking terrible? Listen, coaches? I don't. How think, hard is it to pick a coach? Listen, I don't think Boylan is the best coach. But also the defense, I can't get on him from four. Yeah. To me, I think Thad Young's been the best player on the Bulls, arguably, because he just knows what he's doing. 
if you look at the Bulls, like they have a lot of guys under 25 who are still young that they really depend on. Mm-hmm. Like you got Wendell, he's mm-hmm. young. Laurie, he's young. Zach, he's still young. Sadoransky, he yeah. ain't played much basketball. Otto, he ain't played winning basketball in four or five years. And he's also not that old either. So you got a lot of guys. That's excuses, man. Okay, so. Monty Williams is doing better with what we thought was way worse talent. I'm but sorry. But no, way. I disagree with that because the Monty I'm Williams. Does, no, Monty doesn't have the same team from last year. Also, the first time. This is the first time in damn that deck. <laughs> listen. The Bulls playing like this and Monty Williams, they coach? Listen, listen. The play, yes. No, oh, they're not. You're lying. Listen, listen. You're lying. No, look, listen, listen, listen. The Suns have actual NBA talent for the first time in a, in a decade. Ain't no Rubios. On the uh, Bulls. Ain't no Aaron Baines on the Bulls. Some of these guys that, that the Suns have who are actual veterans, good basketball players, is a lot of wild. Now, mine's a good coach, great coach. But he's got some guys you can have success with. The Bulls don't have a lot of good basketball players, bro. They really don't. They just don't. They don't. I, I hate this notion. How many of these guys? It's look, it's, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And look, and look, and look I'm not saying. Bullshit. And look, I'm not saying Boyle is the best coach because he ain't. Offensively, it's god awful. They're terrible. But the defense that it's I see, terrible. But listen, so he's a terrible. But coach. the defense that I see is 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 a lot on their young, and they have to improve as basketball players. Offensively, that's on him. Boyle probably don't get this year and then be gone. I'm not saying he's a great coach. He's not. But the product on the court. They people, gave him an extension. I don't know how long, but long he 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 going he going be around, bro. Yeah. Because he's terrible. Because that offense is at really bad. Right? They literally just pass the ball around the perimeter until somebody decides to do something. Yeah, Zach Levine is not good. No, Zach is good. But overrated. Like, no. Larry Markin Listen, has lost. Zach is good. It's just that they don't run no. Like, every shot Zach hits is tough. Literally all of them. They don't run offense, bro. They pass the ball around the perimeter mm-hmm. until somebody decides to do something. Yeah, I guess. But, all right, it's been Hoops and Brews, man. We're back, episode 166. Shout out to all of you all. We appreciate you thanking, I mean, sorry, thank you for coming through, checking out the show. As always, make sure you subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash H&B. Once again, that's patreon.com slash H&B. Help support us. We're continuing to bring you guys amazing content. Make sure that you go and you check out our Clippers coverage. We have exclusive coverage of every Clippers post game, as well as their home games. Um, we love um, you know, actually covering the team has been a, it's been really, really cool to do. I actually got to talk to Coach Greg Popovich this week, so that was pretty sweet for me. Lifelong goal. If you would have told me three years ago that because of this, I would be talking to Pop, I might have slapped you and told you to stop. <laughs> but it's been Hoops and Brews, your boy TPJ. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at uh, RealTPJ. That's R-E-E-L-T-P-J. It's a film joke. If you don't get it, you damn dummy. And as always... We drink alcohol, but we drink responsibly. Please do not drink and drive. Don't do it. It's wrong. Um, You can go to jail. And as always, please make sure that if you do drink and drive, you take an Uber. Shout out to all of our fans out there. Shout out to you if you donated uh, during this episode as you were watching it. Pavi, the co-star, rap extraordinaire of this show. Get your plug in. Talk to the people. Let them know where they can find you at. As always, man, follow me on Twitter at Pavi. P-A-V-Y word all one word. Pavi.com for everything Pavi. Check it out. Exactly. Make sure you check that out. And make sure you also check out our our new show, Two for One, every night, hosted by me. We are joined by a guest. We're talking NBA action every night. I'm probably going to do it tonight because my girl has to work, so why not? I'm going to continue to do it every night at 10 if I can. Make sure you tune in to the Two for One show, Nightly NBA Recap. We also have new episodes of Highlight the Shade coming, as well as we have new happy hours coming, maybe, this week. New happy hours coming this week as well, as, as, more, as well as more Clippers coverage uh hopefully this wednesday and thursday they have a back-to-back until next time we will get up with you all make sure you follow us and uh like subscribe this video make sure you like and subscribe to this video as well subscribe to the channel as well as retweet um this top link on our twitter account twitter.com slash hoops and brews we appreciate everybody listening to us on, on stitcher on soundcloud on apple Podcasts, on spotify we love you guys we'll get up with you next time this has been hoops and brews peace out